suffer from my underdogs The ones willing to pay the cost Even when we're up, we gotta take a loss Underdogs are always against the odds I'ma use this opportunity to do it for my underdogs I'ma do this for my underdogs I'ma do this for my underdogs I'ma do this for my underdogs Yeah, my underdogs Welcome back to another episode of the Rec Center Podcast. I'm Kenny Edwards, joined with my co-host, Lorenzo Parham. Man, what's good with you, Lo? Hey, Ken, we back. I'm having a good time, man. Shout out to our viewers, the comments. Shout out to our past guest, um, Hub, man. Shout out to Hub, man. That was a dope interview. That was a dope ass episode. And a lot of comments going on from that, bringing people back to Hub days, man. But I'm excited about this new one, though, Ken, because, like I said, I don't know the story. I know the person, but I don't know the story, right? Likewise. I want to I want to know what the story is, man, because when I start hearing drafted and all of this type of shit, I'm like, drafted. Now I thought Fee was a, a <laughs> council mind playing football quarterback. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out the story right now. So we go dive into this, man. Welcome for Hari Miller to the to the podcast. Fee, what's going on? Man, what's going on, Lil Brody? Appreciate y'all for having me on here too, though. Hey man, oh, yeah. V, you a Gemini like myself, man. So we get I, I know how to talk Gemini language. So when you get ready to call, I'm calling bullshit on bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah. But that's the thing though, you know, Gemini's don't even speak a lot of bullshit, man. No, you feel that's me? What I'm saying. Be no, straight no, to the point type shit. I don't want to hear none of the politically correct shit today, man. I'm not, not a political nigga, man. Right. So when, we kick, when we kick this off, man, there's a lot we gotta unpack. Cause like I say, I didn't know the story. I didn't know Hub's story. And I didn't know Keith's story as well, man. So we've been diving into a lot of interviews where I'm learning people that I know, but now I'm knowing the story, right? So we're going to dive right into that. So I know the Oakland Bay Roof stuff, man, but this is the rec center, man. What rec center did you start off at? Man, dude? honestly, bro, I didn't really fuck with the rec center. I fuck with the Boys and Girls Club, bro. 85th? You know what I'm saying? On 85th, OE car, man. You know, big sticker, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Elamika, you know what I'm talking about? They worked there, shit, you feel me? And they, they was like... You know, Stick was like the first, I want to say a first father figure nigga really had though coming up though. From a from a small, from a small kid to like, you feel me, to to, to even when that even when I got older, you know what I'm saying? What, what what was the boys and girls club like back then, right? Was Tassa was Tassa around at that time? Tassa was around, but it wasn't no, it wasn't no, it wasn't no real ball. I mean, I gonna say that because 85th, right? Tass, it, the boys club was on 85th for international, Tassa was on 85th and like G Street, you know what I'm saying? So I mean it was Everybody that went to the club went to task. Everybody went to task went to the club type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like both, you know what I'm saying, back and forth type thing. But um, for the most part, shit. Yeah, it was, it was all about 85th, though. Okay. You know, for the Boys and Girls Club, yeah, for sure. And then how did you go from, so Boys and Girls Club, from that that um diving into Boys and Girls Club rec center type of thing, because it wasn't the actual rec center, to branching out and being playing Bay Roof? How did that come about? What age around we talking about? Honestly, bro, look, like, so Bay Roof, I think Bay Roof came around probably like I had to be like eight or nine or something like that, right? And and the cold part about it is like I didn't start, you know, we didn't have no money, you know, coming up, you know, we was broke, bro. We was poor, bro. We I was on one of my niggas made fun of L.U. Harris, man. Oh, y'all had us messed up one 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 episode, man. I listened to that, man. Don't do that, man. But you know, it was it was like more so for real. You know, uh, the, the coaches would come to the hood and find kids who was less fortunate, like. Y'all want to play baseball? We yeah, it's all good, man. You know what I'm talking about? But, um, I played Ellie Harris about eight nine, something like that. Then I stopped playing because my you know moms bounced around a lot. You feel me? And then uh, um you know and kept getting back and forth into it, back and forth, back and forth. Baseball all Amer- uh, all American in West Oakland. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing baseball in Fremont. You know what I'm talking about? Living in shelters and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was all over the place type shit. You know what I'm talking about? But it, it started like eight or nine though. Eight or nine. Hey, Elu Harris, well, I can think, man, did Elu Harris have James on that team with a guy named James on that team? With them? I think I played All Stars one year with the cat. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you who was on that team. All, all I remember is taking a picture and had chap lips one time. You know that picture everybody <laughs> took like this on the, on the what's called yeah. color had chap lips because it was cold as fuck out there, right? What'd you say? Oh no, they just got y'all out the way early. Yeah, nah. <laughs> but I don't want to. I had the eight o'clock picture schedule. Right. Man, something like that, something like that. <laughs> that was better than having your pictures after the game, though. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. That was a setup, though, right? But feet after all the bouncing around, right, and, and and being with that, right? When did the whole baseball skills hone in, though? When did like baseball become that type of thing for you? Hey, so I was raw for hella long, bro. Like, I mean, like no cap. Though I remember when I was like, 
I was a young nigga. My my uh my cousin had my cousin Roger. He went to Oakland High. He pitched for Oakland High, bro. But I had I, he was like they like five six years older than me. I could recall playing strikeout, bro. Hitting his shit over the gate, bro. When I was younger, like I'm talking about ten, they were like 15, 16 type shit. I was raw all the way back then. I was always in like I'm a, I'm gonna put it like like not no knock on nobody I ever played with, but I feel like I was always the best nigga on every team I was on, bro. That's just how I felt on every team I was on. And then when I say when I when I when I say talking about it. it you might not have seen the transition to Beirut, you know why? Because, like I say, a lot of cats was fortunate. You know what I'm talking about? They had their daddies and shit bringing them to practice and shit. Like, nigga, I would ride my bike from Brookfield, from Walnut, all the way to Greenman type shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I mean, on some real shit. And, and at certain times, it was like, shit, I don't even feel like, I don't feel like riding that bike over there today. You know what I'm talking about? I think the only cuss that, ask your, ask your uncle, hey, Jackie, your uncle? Uncle Figure, Uncle Figure, yeah. Jackie, Jackie, your uncle Figure, uncle, yeah. But Jackie, I think Jackie was the first coach. Coach Warren. And Coach Jack was the first ones to be like, hold on, who the fuck is this kid? And put me on the all-star team. And I, I, after that game, I I, I, I can quote him because I remember I went like three for four with like two doubles and two singles. And I can't make, I can't make this shit up. He was like, man, where this shit? Up? I should have been came and got you off that team. He just put me on the all-star team one time. I, and I went crazy. Like, you know, with opposite field and shit. He was like, who the fuck? But like I man, for a long, long time, man, I've been dove into baseball shit for a long time. Jackie, and I do, I do kind of remember that like minors. Cause your name, it, Ferrari, it was like a name yeah. that stood out. So I was like, damn, dude, on this okay. scary ass. Kid. I mean, uh, we, we, but he was good. And then we actually just, the like, steering like, race. That was a steering race, Kenny. That was a steering race. Team, I remember that's I'll tell you the red yeah. team. That was a steering race. And I was, oh, God, I was, was like the next year or two years later. I'm like, for some, I just couldn't remember what team it was. But I'm like, this thing on a good team now. Like they win Gotti. I went to that's when Jackie. That's when Jackie came and got me. No cap. Hella fast, hella I, it was me. I, Hold on, so you end up going to Powell. I, I can't tell you who was on the team. I think it was Powell, bro. I don't remember the names, bro. Like you know, but I think it was Powell. It could have been. I, I tell you this. Um, who was on that team, bro? It was uh me. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember Dar uh Daryl Williams. Um, uh Chris Dixon. Uh. And it was some Mexican dude pitch, but I couldn't tell you what he was on that team. But you know, that was that was when I that's when I played on the All Star team. You feel me, Tomo? Fee, what 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 year are you? High school? You? I graduated two thousand. Okay. See, so I'm you... I'm younger than you, but I'm older than like the Don Dons and Twine. so I'm that in between nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Like, it's crazy, bro. For real, for real. You're Ken. You're Ken. Hey, yeah. So was it was it Tari Collin on that team with y'all? Because Tari is that's Jackie Neff. I want to say he was, bro. I, I want to say he was, yeah. Okay. Because that nigga, I, it was one little buff nigga back and forth, and I think it was Tari, right. but you feel me? That yeah, because I, I used to think back and forth, man, you was Jose Canseco, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. 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 For sure. Okay, okay. Now I'm now it's coming back. Now it's coming back. But man, once again, let me give my shout out to Jack, man, because Jack was the one that used to come pick me up. We talk about picking up and stuff. Jack used to be the one come picking me up. Then Tyrone, Officer Tyrone Davis was picking me up every day, bringing me to practice, man. So definitely, if that one happened, I'm with you. I I wouldn't have been catching no buses and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah. So or riding bikes and stuff hey, like I, that. Hey, hey, Lo, actually, it wasn't even Coach Jackie coming to pick me up. Honestly, bro, I'm talking about that that year when I'm talking about Jackie, the one who really who realized like this little motherfucker good. Oh, you good. feel me? Good. Okay. The one who was coming to get me was Coach D and Coach Reggie. I don't know if y'all remember Coach D and Coach Reggie, but they coached for the Dynamites and they was coaching the Sting Rays that year. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I, I'm mean, they used to come pick me, uh, my cousin Yank, my cousin Buster. They, I mean, it was a straight hood team, bro. Like me, Yank, Bust, Jackie, Lil Ronald from Walnut. I don't know if y'all remember this nigga named Johnny, but he was he was decent, but I mean, he, they used to come get us. They used to come get us all, but like all the time, bro. Yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. That's what's up, man. So, when, so is and when we start talking about finances, financial things like that, like I tell people all the time, I didn't play you football because we couldn't afford you football. I had to wait till the shit got free, and you was in high school, and you happy to get out there, right? Did you have the similar experience? Were you the exact you same? Football? The exact same thing, but I remember Coach D say. Coach D say, man, well, you gonna play for the dynamites. All right, it's all good. So I got I used to be up, man. Look, niggas remember me from the field. That's how much I used to be up there, bro. Like they like, you play, nigga. I'd be like, bro, I didn't play, bro. I but 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 I keep it a thousand, bro. So I remember the one year I, this team had Versailles on it too. It's Versailles, my cousin Malik, my nigga Far. I knew Farley, I knew Kamari, I knew um uh, I knew I knew a couple, I knew Dejan Williams. This was my nigga. But when I come to practice, niggas was like, man, nigga, for all you playing, nigga, we finna be killing shit. And I'm out there, you know what I'm saying? I get, you know, I get the little pads and shit. Nigga, for a couple, I practiced off and on with him and shit. But then I, I, like I say, I was driving from Walnut, not Brookfield at the time. 
from Walnut to the practices, bro. Like, this me as a kid, nigga, 10, 11, 12 years old, nigga, riding a bike from Wal 98 from Walnut to Brookfield, bro. You feel me? I'm from Brookfield, but I was coming from Walnut to Brookfield to practice. You feel me? And then, you know, I only had my grandmama. So my grandma, when coach, when the coach was like, yeah, you know, it's like a, it was like $100 or something. My grandma was like, she said, well, we can't afford that. We right. can't afford it. I'm good with it, Granny. It's all good. You know what I'm talking about? So it is what it is. I but for the most part, I'm still up there though, hollering out all cheerleaders and shit. <laughs> all right. So let's um so before we go into the football stuff, let's go back to the Bay Roof shit, right? So then you play, right? Well, how you play Bay Roof all the way through? I played Bay Roof just minors and majors, bro. Just minors and majors. My minor my minor my, my minor year, cuz no cap. I was so good. I, I, I don't man, I don't even know, bro. I wanna say it was fucking Coach Warren. I don't know if y'all remember a coach named Warren. Probably he was like him. an older cat. He he lived up because I, I remember going up like seventy third hill, going to his house off Sunkiss. Mm. But I, I, he pulled me up, bro, and um, and Quincy was umpiring, bro. No cat, I can't make shit up. I was so small because I was minors. He brought me up to the majors, though. You hear me? To pitch, I was mm. so small, bro. I can't make this shit up, bro. They in there, they ran, they laughing because I'm hella small, bro. The first pitch left my hands. Uh, low, low, listen to me, cuz the first pitch left my hand. It popped the glove so loud. I'm talking about the whole everybody at Grimmy shut the fuck up like ain't no fuck around niggas do that ball that goddamn hard, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, if I'm telling you the fact check this, bro. Q, I show up everybody out that whole day, bro. That nigga Q was he wasn't even he was up there, he wasn't even looking at the ball shot. He just he kicking around, come on, like, yeah, yeah, he, he pissing people off. I mean, it was crazy, bro, for real, for real. Yeah. But I mean shit, way back when though, that you go, it's a long time, bro. though. So when when you stop playing Bay Roof at 12, major minor majors. What will happen? What 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 what's next up in the story? You just waited till you got the house running running around running around East Oakland, going to house parties and you know That's doing it. what I do. You know, what okay, man, give, running give, around give, East Oakland. Okay, so now it makes sense. So if you don't know, if you watch the episodes on the podcast, I always talked about how did Fee and Danielle them ended up at Castlemont, right? Yeah, because I'm like, hey, these dudes that could have went and played any other school in OEL. How did it end up at Castlemont, right? Now, now that's a different story because you know a nigga did play. I, I was supposed to play at Skyline, bro. No cap. And you're gonna hear it. You gonna you're gonna be the first nigga to hear this from me, cuz so my grandmother, you know what I'm talking about? She was she was the only person like registering motherfuckers in school and shit type, but she worked for AC Transit though, bro. So she was trying to allocate shit. She had a conversation with the AD at the time who was Jonathan Bean. And she was like, no, my grandson play all sports. He played football, baseball, basketball. And he was, she, the way she made it seem like, she, like he was like not interested in like uh, a kid playing all yeah, those sports. Play all the so, sports. So, so she was just like, well, you got options because, you know, and, and at the time, when you're talking about football, I was so small going into high school. My grandma was like, well, we're going to have to wait out where you want to go. I was like, well, my partner's going to Castlemont. We go to Castlemont. You feel what I'm saying? So get down there. And I mean, I knew everybody. I went to Madison, bro. You feel me? Tomorrow, Brookfield, Sabrina. It was, uh, you know, everybody from the, all my peoples was there. You feel me? Okay, okay. That's a. I, it makes sense now. It makes sense now. Coach Good. Steve was there too. So there is some Coach Steve. Coach, Coach Steve was there for sure. Steve was the baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, Coach Steve coached me too, bro. One year, bro. And Coach Steve fell in love with me, bro. He's he, he used to tell me I was gonna marry his daughter, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, bro, like, bro, no, bro. Don't nobody want her, bro. Let that go, me, fella. Like, hey. Rest in peace, my guy, man. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, so and now, yeah. now, now it makes sense, right? Now you get to castle my year two thousand, right? So you there with Quinn them? Your first yeah. year there is Quinn. No, them listen, them. listen. This is the coldest story ever, right? I wasn't give. I wasn't going to school in ninth grade, nigga. Look, I. I was I, I promise to God, bro. So at the time, you know, moms was like, she was, you know, rest in peace, moms, bro. Moms was like on her hiatus doing what she was doing, bro, right? But I still had a little brother and a little sister, you feel me? But I used to get up early in the morning, go hustle, get them some little money for school, then be on the way to school. You know what I'm talking about? Like I wouldn't even I don't even think I wouldn't even finish no high school, bro, if it wasn't for this one teacher, bro. Miss um Miss Betty Flanagan, bro. I know y'all not familiar with the teachers at Cast My Bro, but I I I had her first period, bro. She literally saw me one morning and she stopped me. And she was like, I mean, right here, right? I mean, right in Brookfield. But she she stopped me and was like, uh, can I, young man, let me talk to you. She came to me. She was like, how can you not enter my class? I see you right here at the best all the time. Right? You know, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I kept it real. Like, man, like, I got, you know, I got mouths I'm trying to feed you right now. You know what I'm saying? Clothes I'm trying to get my, you know what I'm saying, my peoples. 
So she just she she started picking me up, bro, and taking me to school, bro, like every morning, bro, mm. and telling me just go to summer school. And this, she was like a mentor, bro, like for real, for real. I wouldn't even. I only I would have finished. I had started on that wrong path at, in ninth grade, Girl. and then like somebody who just this just a just a mother figure. I'm I'm not saying my mama didn't care, but a mother figure that showed interest. Like we actually love you, young black man. Come come handle your business. I started handling my business like way, but ninth grade I didn't play. But they was trying to get me to play hella bad. We was mm. at we was because Cap was a PE teacher, Coach Caparici, mm. right? He was a PE teacher, so we used to play softball. I used to be, I used to be hitting the softball. I don't remember. Cast my head a heel. It, 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 it ain't always been turf. I used to be smacking the ball over the goddamn bleachers, hitting it to eighty four uh, little little duplexes and shit. He wanted to play so bad, but I was like, man, I ain't got no grades for this shit. <laughs> for real. Oh, hold on. So you didn't. So you didn't play. You didn't play football your freshman year either then. I did play football my freshman oh, year. You, you, know, you, come in fresh. you know, you football coming fresh right. from middle school. Yeah, I did play football. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So what was it like when you finally got that shot to go play football that freshman year? That shit was easy, bro. Mind you, not back, I come from the boys club, bro, for real. I always play with older cats, bro. I'm, rest in peace, Emory. God damn, bro, that's crazy. But Emory, I used to be out. like... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I remember little Emery, bro. Little Emery, yeah. little little yeah. uh, little, little Tamir. Bro, went to went to Mac, yeah, bro. Like so, you know, that was like nigga. I used to fight this nigga every day, bro. Like I don't gonna say literally fight, but it was a competition, basketball, for baseball, like. But 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 just that grind of them older niggas always stuck with me, bro. When I got to high school, it was easy, bro. That shit was easy. You played JV. Played you JV, then I got brought up. I played JV, then I got brought up. Dante was my quarterback, nigga. And then <laughs> he he didn't even finish too on strong, but. Yeah, nigga, it was good. It was, oh, we, had a, we had a nice ass team, though. But, no coaching, like always. I don't say I, I don't remember who coaches was back then. Man, nigga, look. I don't, yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna say no names, but yeah, I'm some yeah. other coaches who niggas give credit to because I'm a coach, bro. I'm a coach, like you a coach, bro. And you look I, I know you can look back at some coaches right now and be like, that nigga wasn't really no coach, bro. That nigga was just Absolutely. cause because that's how it was. Well, I know some niggas rebel names like, oh, this coach was going back in 66. Nigga, that was 66. Nigga, this two thousand and this ninety six. No, come on, man, that shit. Shit, niggas was doing was kind of like way off, bro. You feel me? <laughs> but let 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 go back me up real quick, right? Because we always talk about the culture of school. What was the culture of Castlemont like back then for you and Lee going from the block to school now on the football team? What was the culture like though? The culture was it was cold, man. Like so, how can I say it? But it was like. I'm from Brookfield, right? We had we had this little we had this we used to have this war like like the pretty boys from Brookfield and then the grimy niggas from Brookfield. It was all love. We just really we really we, we ain't really fighting, but it was like a little thing up there. But that was a culture the whole year, all the years I was there. It was more so like you a player or you're not a player. You on the, you in the streets or you in school. That's what the culture was. Uh, football wise, it was you know it was it wasn't like how shit is today. Like you know what I mean? Um, I, I feel like the, the coaches were getting more cats to. To, to engage in sports back then. You know what I'm talking about? In opposed to now where you got kids six five, six six walking around school not doing nothing. The coaches was able to talk to your mom and your granny and them tell them he needs to be doing this and your granny will, oh, you need to play that sport type shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I mean especially in the ninth grade, bro, like, come on, like, when you got to when you got to high school coming from put it like this, the finest girl in my school was at Madison. She was fine. She was okay. She was fine as hell in middle school. And they got the high school. I see all these beautiful. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> the coach was, it was a coach of shots, man. They start filling they, out. Hey, Kenneth, they all got titties now. <laughs> I, went from, I went from King of State to Tech. So you yeah. can tell the difference it was. I'm King of State to Tech. Facts. Man, I went from Head Facts. Royce to Oakland High. Nigga. My mind, man. Was blown. Head Royce, that's <laughs> crazy. My mind was blown. Jesus. So, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, I get what you said with the culture, what it was, man. Uh, but each year, what we witnessed was Castlemont to get good. They get good, right? They build a team, they get good, right? And then they don't have a team no more, right? How was that throwing off for you guys that was real athletes that wanted to be there, but then five players ineligible kill the whole season? What was that like for y'all? Though? Once again, lo- I mean, that should come down to the coaches, bro. Checking in on them players, making sure them players mm-hmm. is doing what they're supposed to do. I'm going to keep it a 1,000, bro. Like, I had coaches we were shooting dice with, nigga. You hear me? I told you, we in the back of the school shooting dice with the coach, bro. We, we gambling on Madden with the coaches type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that, that's, that's my thing. They wasn't saying check this, check that. But I graduated – Probably like I think I graduated like 30 or 30, 36 of my class or something. Mm. 
Mm. And I bullshit all the way through high school. You know what I'm talking about? I just learned how to kiss teachers' ass, buying them lunch and shit. Like, you know what I mean? And other other players can figure that out. Because we were right in the heart of the hood. Like I say, most of our kids, bro, they from the hood. They was from the hood. So niggas wasn't really checking for school like that. School was a getaway to go have some fun and shit. But other than that, shit, it, <laughs> niggas went. If we knew how important education was back then, niggas would have took it more serious. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. It wasn't pushed us like that. You feel me? Absolutely, man. And that goes back to what we saying. Shout out to you, Ken, myself as fathers, right? Because we actually went through it now. So now it's like it's I'm I'm gung ho. Facts about mine. I know it now. Facts. <laughs> yes. I know it now. I'm gung ho. Right. Yeah. What this is I'm gung ho. I know everything. I know the environment you need to be in. I know where you go. Facts. I know the friends. I know the friends you need to the have. Friends need to have facts. We now, so now I'm doing totally different. But we had to, we didn't know um one raised like that. So we 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 were walking experiments yeah. to what was to come yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all of us. For yeah, that. all the good fathers facts, facts. Cause it ain't no rule into the shit. Like I had a father figure in my life, but he was in the streets. You know what I'm talking about? Like but at the same time, though, shit, it, it ain't no rule book to this shit. And I be, you know what, be, that pop, this ain't got nothing to do with sports, but that puzzles me. I hear a lot of women say no good niggas. I be like, nah, a lot of my partners are good fathers. Because we, and, and, and we learn. Take care of their kids. Facts. And we learn, and we learned the hard, we learned, we made, we didn't write no book, but we just figured it out. You know what I'm talking about? For real, for real. We're different times, though. We ain't, so, as adults, we ain't smack dead in the middle of a crack era either. So exactly, we, yeah. Have no, some we, 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 we might be, but here's the thing: might be. addiction could be addiction could be viewed in different ways, though, right? Like yeah. we might not be addicted to crack, but some people are addicted to hustling, addicted to scamming, yeah, true. addicted that's to true. all these things that can also take you out your kid's life. You feel me? That's so true. it's other addictions nowadays, right? That we be stuck with, right? But at, it's getting through that, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think some people, our parents, that era just couldn't get through it. We they was selfish as opposed to this generation. We're selfless. Yeah. We put our kids before anything else. Like I, I don't know, Lo. I don't know, Lo, because it's some females right now today. This Friday coming up. They ain't gonna take their kids to go do no trick or treat, but they put on the devil outfit, the police outfit. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, outfit. Well, I'm gonna take my kid trick or treat, but we gonna make this shit see. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see this shit. No, 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 no. no. Well, I got to see mama actually... in that outfit. Come on, no, that was just fun. My kids can't tell. My, Halloween is Monday. <laughs> weekend is on me. The weekend is for me. Right. Y'all right shit. Halloween is Monday. The I weekend. See that nurse right. outfit. Right. Come on now, trick or treat. But let, now let me get back into this though, man, because you did get, you did become, stand, you got back into baseball, you ended up playing for Castle Mott, became standout, right? What was it like when you first got to play in that 10th grade year? I'm assuming 10th grade year, you got eligible, you played. What was that like? And how did all of the accolades start coming? All right, shout out again, Miss Flanagan. She's the one who got me eligible. <clears throat> she really, she really put her foot on my neck. But um, 10th grade year, right? This, this is what I seen. So my 10th grade year, it was the year after Queen and won it, right? And it was a couple of cats left over from the previous team, but I made that team so much better. Though. I, I'm not even, I'm not taking no credit, bro, for nothing. Like, but but my skill says speak for itself. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. Mind you, know, I've been a dog. Like I come up in the club area, you know what I mean? Like I talk my shit, bro. You feel me? I don't care who, who you is, what you didn't did. I talk my shit because I feel like I'm the best on the field, right? But but that next year I felt like it was a lot of it was a lot of hate towards Castle Mont baseball team. The football team, we was just trash, bro. We, we had we had like a select, we had a select few cast that could ball, but we was just trash, bro. I mean, I ain't gonna say it was trash, bro. But like I say coaching go a long way, bro. And then I hope too, which y'all don't even know. I hope because I, I, I hope I played basketball like at Castle Mont too. I, I played I played four sports at bas- at, at Castle Mont. Run track. What? Run track. Nigga, I did run track, but I, 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 like, I stopped. Oh, running, no, no, I stopped running track. Being hella fast. Okay. That, but that ain't that ain't, that ain't, the, that ain't the first sport I played. The first sport I played was golf, nigga. You was on the golf team. You had a whole golf team at Casamar. Coach Fred, Coach Fred Morris was our golf coach, and me okay. and DeAndre and Lorenzo, we was on the golf team. Yeah. Hey. But then, like I said, yeah. But but the transition from that though was, um, I already knew how to be a leader. I was a leader at you know at the boys club. I keep it. I keep it a thousand. We had traveling teams that been, like stick you put on for us, bro. You feel me? And 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 then when we get into the Babe Ruth shit later, but I'm gonna tap in on how them village ties come in too, bro. Like 
it ain't just pay roof. It was the boys and girls club too. Like you know, tomorrow like I, I seen a segment y'all had on like how these niggas so good. I'm, these niggas so good because nigga, if they, if if my hood was right here and had a baseball field right there and I'm there every goddamn day, I'm gonna be good at it. You know what I'm saying? But also, it was a boys and girls club inside the village, bro. A lot of people don't even know that or remember that. It was a whole ass boys and girls club inside the village, bro. And we used to battle. It was Car, the village. Then you had the one in West Oakland, the one in North Oakland. You know what I'm saying? It was like the boys club. It, it, it just put on for us, though. But I, like I said, I, was, Let me slow you up. I think Gene did say that, Ken. Mm -hmm. I think Gene Denard did say it was a boys and girls club, club in the village. Yeah, my dad, my, that's all my dad talked about is boys and girls club. He didn't play okay, baseball. Yeah, he did Gene boys did and girls club, but he was West Oakland. Yeah, they try. So, so what I'm saying is, like, from even for me and like, I always been like a, a leader type. You feel me? So that uh, every time I get on, I try to be that. You know what I'm talking about? Because I feel like that's. I ain't gonna say I was a kiss ass. It was just like, you know, what I'm talking about. You got to show me that you're better than me. You feel me? Right, right, right. And I feel like I was one of the best, if not the best. You feel me? But I was on a, my 10th grade year baseball. You see, Antoine wasn't even there yet. Antoine Dada wasn't even there yet. It was me. Was there, right? See, this is gonna fuck. This is gonna fuck y'all up. My sophomore year. My sophomore year, it was me, Savar McIntyre, -Mac. Emil Schaefer, Emil. Uh, Fidel, Fidel, um, what's, what's Fidel's last name? I can't forget Fidel. Uh, Mike Jones, Charles Henderson. I know Charles. Dark uh -huh. Motherfucker. Yeah, listen, bro, because this was my, that was my, I love that squad. Um, Gustavo, the little fat, my players, the little fat back catcher. Uh-huh. Uh, my cousin uh, Buster played. Niggas don't even know Buster played in, in, in high school too. I know. See, niggas be like, all oh, them niggas street niggas. Nah, but them niggas was athletes before. You know what I'm talking about? Um, let me see who was on that team. And uh, it was, <laughs> man, it was Dejon Williams was on that team, bro. Dejon Williams was on that team too, bro. And um, everybody, if I'm missing somebody, they're going to be like, nigga, you forgot I left me out. But nah, bro, that, them this who stood out to me. Oh, and Ariel, Ariel, Ariel Molina, I think that was his name. Uh -huh. and he played second base, something like that. But that, that team was decent, though. Jose Macias, too. Yeah, he's, he's thinking, yeah, but that, that hey, team was, was, it, it was dope. Was a kid named Alberto there with y'all? Berto was the, yes, yes, Berto. Yeah. That's Pudge. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Berto, Pudge. Okay. Yeah, Berto. It was his brother, Gustavo, then I said Pudge. Pudge okay. was the catcher. It was his brother. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shit, that year, bro, we just we did our shit, bro. You feel me? We was actually <coughs> baseball, bro. Baseball, bro. That that year, we actually was in contention to go back to the to the series game, but we lost to Tech. Mm. And that tech, beast, that we, tech team was raw, though. That was a deep. Team. Bro, listen, bro. I'm and I get to say this with my chest out. I struck all of them niggas out, bro. No cap. Until they caught wind and the, I feel like they picked up my they picked up the speed of my pitches, bro. In the third in the third inning. Then I start getting rocked. That's you know what I'm talking about? I was, but, but, man, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you, bro. Like, look, it's, it is what it is, bro. Because I was cocky, bro. I thought I was that nigga. You feel me? But I used to talk shit, bro. Like, you know, what you, nigga, Dion like my nigga. Like, but, but, nigga, I'm talking shit on that baseball field. You know what I'm talking about? But that nigga, that team was too, yeah. Like I said, that team was hella stacked, bro. Marco, Malcolm, Dion, nigga, they had uh another little fast nigga. They had, uh, man, I don't Matthew know. There were too many niggas on that team. Matt Cobb, Mikey. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, them, yeah that nigga. Hold ass cheats. That was a cheat code team. They don't hear nobody say, bro. Hey, but they, they took their lumps though because they 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 all played as sophomore, so they got uh, their, they got beat in sophomore years and shit, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Hey, so, so they had to be juniors or something that year, I think. Seniors. Or seniors. They were seniors. They were seniors. 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 They were the seniors that year. Yep, you're right. Because because they, they was gone the next year. Yep, yeah. Right. Yep, yep. Hey, For sure. Hey, let me ask you this because I'm pretty sure. And if it didn't happen, I'm I'm trying to figure out why it happened, right? What happens is other coaches see, okay, Castleman got uh B. Miller there, right? Castleman got a Danielle Crane there. While they sitting over there, the other coaches be like, hey, man, let's try to get y'all over here, get y'all over there. Y'all think about did y'all think about transferring? I never thought about transfer, bro. I love my school, bro. I was all my deals was in East Oakland, bro. I was uh, so I'm from Brickfield, but I, I like to set up shop on 90, bro. You feel me? That's why it was easy for me to get to school now. Cause I was, you know, so I was over my people, my family on 9 and Bancroft, across from that gas station. Then I just go there a couple of minutes and go to school type shit. But I never thought about transferring. My ninth grade year, bro, like I said, the only person that was adamant about me coming to um going to going to Skyline was Coach Gamble. Coach Gamble wanted me up there super bad, but and then when I when my when I you know when I ended up talking to him and told him what my you know with the story of my grandma, he was pissed. Like <laughs> he was pissed. But you know that's that's the story. A lot of that's the way a lot of shit go, bro. Like it is what it is. I had people at tech, 
had people at Mac, had people at Fremont Skyline, had people everywhere, bro. And everybody wanted me to come fuck with them, but it is what it is. Absolutely, man. So that now we go to be about to bounce because we stand in one year, so I'm gonna bounce football and baseball with you, right? Um, so we went 10th grade baseball, y'all had a deep deep squad, lost to tech in that championship thing. Come back junior year is when I start hearing the name buzz, right? For Hari Miller, for Hari Miller, but it was just that Castlemont got something over there like that, right? What was that? Let's go junior year football, right? And before I don't know, take me back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm not going to ask you our overrated question. We stopped doing overrated questions. Shit, ask me overrated question. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't shy from nothing, bro. I don't shy from shit. Here we go. So this is what I need. Yeah. This is what I need. Yeah. Man. We go get down to it. So OEL was. Did you when you came to the OEL? You know people got their name buzzing. Give me one from baseball. Give me one from football that you felt was overrated. Baseball that I felt was overrated. Terrell Taylor. Overrated. Damn, that's my Terrell Taylor. That's my oh. nigga, bro. I'm a, I'm not. I didn't say Terrell. I said Terrell Taylor. Terrell, that's my that's my pizza. Bro, that's my, my, listen, listen, oh, listen, listen, listen. What I'm saying is overrated, bro. Bro, Kenny, let me talk about Okay, this is what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm saying is like if, if a nigga said, if a nigga was like, hey bro, this nigga hell of a hell of a and every time you play against some nigga to show up. You gonna be like, oh man, he wasn't that good. I've been, been, been with T since. I since keep Scotty it a thousand. Keep passing. it a thousand. Okay. That's my guy. Terrell is my guy, but like, I'm not talking about. That's my guy, but I'm telling you, he's overrated, yeah. but like, it ain't, oh. it ain't nothing bad about him. But he was overrated, man. Okay. Was, <laughs> okay. And, and you say junior year, right? Junior year, no, right? No, no, no. no just, period, just period, all together. Period. Period. I'm in general. Just in general, all over baseball. In general, all over baseball. Underrated, overrated, overrated in baseball. Nah, you got your opinion. You, you Terrell. Terrell, we can take Terrell. Terrell, Terrell. That's just your opinion. That's just my story, bro. I got to stick with my story. Like, I got to stand by, bro. I got to stand on it. I got to stand on it. I got to stand on it. That was my nigga. When I say that's my that's my nigga, that's my guy. I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, I'm talking about. Just on I'm the talking field. about showing so up to games, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Niggas just put it like this. So Terrell, but I, it had to do with Jr. though, because mm-hmm. see Jr. name and the Terrell name, it, the, the last name made it sound good. They used to be like we Taylor made this Taylor made it feel better, little bit, right? But the only nigga showed up in the games was my nigga Jr. <laughs> okay, <No. laughs> you get what I'm saying? Hey. I was keeping it down to playing baseball. Yeah, That's what it was. Gonna, you feel me? This was gonna happen. This was gonna oh, happen. Ken gonna hey Terrell. Before this episode drop, I want you to know. <laughs> he ain't gonna give him the hands up, right? But now, give me the one on the football side that you felt was overrated. Overrated? I'm gonna have I'm overrated, bro. I gotta go overrated that I heard about that I didn't really see shine. Because when I say when I think overrated, that's what I think. I hear about a nigga exactly. and right, I see him right, play, right, I don't see him right. do a lot of shit, right? Exactly. Let me see. And I got to say, I can't, you know what? I heard somebody say that Raj is overrated, but I'm going to be real. And I see Raj, that nigga was going crazy, right? He, I mean, like going crazy, crazy. Um, Let me see. Uh, I'm going to say Hump was, bro. It was Humphrey. Humphrey. Humphrey, Humphrey was overrated, bro. He was overrated like a motherfucker. I, never, I didn't see him. He just, can, you know what I'm saying? I think Hump overratedness came from what he did in Dynamite days that had this had had a had a yeah had a because yeah. we might see this stuff nowadays as well where it's a kid killing you football they get to high school and you'd be like oh he gonna be the guy because hump was better when he went to the defensive side of the ball sometimes bro yeah he was a better defensive player but sometimes what happens is and a lot of it happens now too low um I, and i say this all the time when was the last time you see somebody go from youth hella raw to high school and be a hella raw the last person i seen do that was Giannis Davis. Nobody else. You can't name one person that was that guy in, in um Little League went to high school and was that guy except Giannis Davis. I don't see nobody yeah, else. We got Rob Hub on here the other day. I mean, I mean, no, my my guy, era, nigga. I'm, I'm wasn't telling you, uh, I'm just guy. telling you, man. Like, he the guy see, in you, you right. right? No, he wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about you. Giannis. It's hard for a kid to transition from being that guy in you because 
and most people who want that guy and you, they just develop faster than most of the kids. And they stop developing at a certain age. And everybody else blocks them by them in high school. That's why they stop being that guy. But Giannis Davis, the only person I would think about that actually was that guy in youth and was that guy in high school also. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see Aaron in youth. Was Aaron early that guy in youth, though? Aaron? Aaron was a Aaron, Aaron was Aaron was a tough ass little nigga, bro. Like, so we used to, bro. I swear to God, we used to be doing shit that they would not fathom do this year. These other days, we used to meet up at a Royal Park, bro, and hitting our pads, bro. Aaron was younger than us, bro. No cat, he was younger than us. But this nigga wasn't going out though. Like he'd be like, man, I'm here with anybody, everybody. Okay. Bro, okay. <laughs> we'd be tagging, we'd be tagging his little ass, but he, but see, he still this, tried though. This, this hey, he was a little tough for today. This is the thing I think about Hump too, because Hump was really good at running back, but he was and Hump my guy too. Yeah, he Shout went, out to Hump, that's my guy. No, Hump, Hump went D one as a DB. So yeah, he was, but here's the other thing: he came after Raj and right before Terry and Frank, and so it's like he got stuck in that. Oh, Terry Johnson, go ahead. <laughs> hey. He got stuck what? in that. Like you thinking Raj, then Hump was really good, but he wasn't Raj. But then but Terry no, and them came know. after him, and it's like, but he wasn't Terry. But, but you want to know who came after that on that same team as well with Derek Whiteside. Derek Whiteside. Derek, but see, yeah, D. Yeah, Whiteside was, was, D. Whiteside was raw as fuck too, but yeah, D. Whiteside, D. Whiteside was more was like more underrated. He was more underrated. Like yeah. underrated. Yeah. Hey, D. But Whiteside was like good, but I see what you're saying, though. Know. Yeah, but. no, no, no. I mean, that's my guy, bro. Like, yeah, no, that's no, my no. nigga. I'm saying, you know, I'm just giving people my when I say basketball up here. Yeah, you build him up. He, I was meant to make it to be a uh, 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 somebody like from the shit. Or something. Yeah, so, exactly. So and then I see him like that nigga was average. That brings yeah. up to this next question, right? So when we brought underrated up, I I said you underrated because of where you was at. You would have got way All more the elsewhere. Danielle got way more shine. We even had Danielle on the quarterback list, and it would have made it if he had receivers in the program, right? Elsewhere, we said, can you take Danielle? Can we have to Ken and you about uh, to Ken piss me off? Oh. Ken, <laughs> Ken been able to do what he did at Ohio. They did that Calvin. Hell yeah, I think I went to Oklahoma. Not at Calvin. Oh, come on, man. It was a different. It was a different. It was a different. We used to be Calvin. We used to be Calvin. We used to be Calvin. Fourteen to six, like we was Calvin. Y'all were. Y'all were. Yeah, we was Calvin. That's a good one, right? So let me get who. Give me two underrated players, um, baseball and football. That was in the under underrated player baseball. And when I say this, bro, I, I don't think nobody gonna gonna believe me when I say this, but and I feel like this is the one of the best players I ever seen play this game, bro. But because of and he played Babe Ruth, but but because of where I don't say where he was at, but because of I don't even know why though, bro. But did he play? But first Tavon base? McIntyre, bro, was one of the oh. best motherfucking baseball players to play baseball I ever seen play baseball, bro. I, one of the best, bro. I'm not even. I'm not even being biased, bro. But that nigga was one of the best. I was good, and I mean, I never gonna say he's better than me. But that nigga was like, ah, you know what I'm Nah, but Tavares is one of the best I've ever seen, bro. For real, for real. Do you do you think people in his age? Like, do you think people in his age bracket talk about him? I feel like he's just older than us. No, no, no. See, it's so certain he's years. He's, he's no, he is. Yeah. But it's so certain years he's, where he's, where you get lost in those years because you got to be like, it be, it, you got to have like amazing ass team. Mm-hmm. You got another year, year or two where like, ah, these teams did another amazing ass team. But T Mac, T Mac always had a good team, right? So here's the thing: T Mac was the first. My fact, he was the only person I seen hit. CC Bathia, when we played in the Allen Temple tournament at McConno, he the only person that stuck that bat out to his seat. CC was throwing a thousand miles per hour. I swear to God, that would have looked like CC was decent. It looked like he was throwing a thousand. T Mac was the only one in there that can do that, right? So, but T Mac always fell in a rivalry, right? He he on Allen Temple, Mikey on Cobras. They on Allen Temple, they on Spray Mark. They play the same positions. The same everything, right? He's not the biggest name out there, is what I'm saying. So he, and people people get caught up with the they get caught up with the sauce in saying big names, bro. But when when it comes to that paper, bro, and the numbers don't lie, bro. Tavares one of the best, bro, to do that shit, bro. Yeah. Out, of, out of Bay Roof, bro. And, 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 and our era, I'm talk, our, we always break Bay Roof down in eras, right? So you got to think when T Mac was 11, he got 12 year old Jimmy. Mike 11, he got 12 year old Tuba, right? So they, they had some, this thing going on, right? When we go as positions, me, I'm a they they they're equal to me, to me, because you got T Varro, T Mag go bad lead off, Mike go bad fourth. You know what I'm saying? Mike go hit for power, T Mag go hit 
they they equal, right? Same body he, types. Everything. Now, T. Mac gets what what he got was he at Castlemont, right? And T. Mac at Castlemont, even balling, right? But you might say he might have been hidden there. He might have been hidden there. He and wasn't I, hidden. Lo, they, I, I'm, I'm a thousand, bro. Thousand. bro. We won, bro. We won a lot of Castlemont. We we been there. Went back. We been there. It's my senior year. We almost went again. Junior year, we almost went. But T. But Tavon, bro, he's just quiet, bro. Oh, he man. not he not a yapper, bro. He he is the he's the epitome of what letting my past talk for me look like, bro. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna say a lot, bro. Now me on the other hand, I'm gonna talk my shit. And me yeah. gonna talk his shit. Tavon gonna be quiet, bro, and he gonna kill you softly. You gonna look up, he he gonna throw for four. You know what I'm saying? Like you know numbers don't man, numbers don't lie, bro. I used to be like, fuck. Okay, I went three for four today. I went two for three. This nigga was three for three, four for four. I'm like, God damn. Whether it was a single, double, but the numbers don't lie, bro. You're talking for real, for real. Shout out to T Mac. I saw T Mac at football practice the other day, man. So, oh, for real? Yeah, he shout out to Raw, man. man. Yeah, we got to get him on the show, too. Do you, do, do you think it's because it's a baseball thing? Like, I feel like we talk about Mike more for football. Um, yeah. But, it, but, but it, listen, bro. Another thing is, I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand. The namesake thing, bro. The namesake, bro, like the Denar, the Denar namesake is a big thing. So you gotta expect them to be like, oh, it's a big, it's a big thing. This is what it's what a big thing is. You feel me? But like, ain't no, you don't see, you don't hear a family of McIntyre's coming out of the end tomorrow. Right, right. But and, and and that play, that play a big part in this shit too. Like, okay. but like I say, bro, I'm not knocking nobody for having this. But I, I wish I had it when I came up. Because if I had it came up, I would have never been in no extra trouble. Like, but niggas had fathers and father figures that was actually there for them. You know what I'm talking about? And I and I, I mean that. So T Mac yeah, Daddy was there. I'm not saying he didn't have his daddy. I'm talking about as far as like pushing that, pushing that, pushing that. Okay. You know, a lot of a lot of cats don't understand. Like Aaron, like you know, Coach Mo will push Aaron. He yeah. pushed Aaron. You feel what I'm talking about? Like like I keep it a thousand. Like man, oh man, I was keep it. Was Tavaro drafted? We're talking five was fucking hours. So, no no no, he wasn't drafted. No 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 no, he didn't get drafted. He didn't get drafted hey, man. No, no, no. <laughs> Again, you interrupted. He said, man, if I'm going to keep it a thousand. Yeah, I said, yeah. Because, look, bro, I, and I lost my train of thought now, bro. I was going to oh. say, God damn. Ball, but not, I, it, it don't matter. It had to do something with, uh, with, uh, with here. Let me see. You said, and you said mobile was pushing there. Mobile was pushing there. Mobile was pushing there. Yeah, mobile was pushing air. Like, uh, we had a, you know, who, if I ask you who was, who, if I ask you who you thought, like a prodigy of Coach Mobile, you know what I'm talking about? Who you, who do you, who do you thought, who you think I'm talking about? Um, Twan, Thompson. Twan. You think I'm talking about Twan, right? The yeah. mold push Aaron type shit. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm talking about with the namesake. Having a father there that a push for you. You know what I'm talking about? That's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. I know, hey, I know, I'm not talking about Twan. I'm talking about Tavaro. Not talking about Twan, but what I'm saying is you see how mold will push. He'll push in, push in, push in, push in. The agenda. The agenda, the agenda was in. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Will was pushing that agenda for Tavaro. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't see it, it makes sense, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like how you do for your son, how you will do for your son, how I will do for my son, push for the agenda, like, no, we ain't ain't having that shit, no, you gonna go here, do what you gotta, it's the same type thing, I don't think really care about that, she was like, eh, go play here, you know what I'm saying, facts. Do you think, but do you think, and it's a question for both of y'all, you and Ken, do you think people get stuck on the, if you good, they'll find you mentality, because I think that shit hinders a lot of shit too, though, like, people tell a kid, Hey, if you good, they'll find you, right? And hey, man. Like, now, now. Me at Lincoln University in Jefferson City, Missouri. So stop telling me that shit. My, my thought process on that is that's, I feel like that's a, it's, it's, it's somewhat true, bro. If you got scouts coming to check shit out. But if you're in the OAL, like a lot of these kids are now, right? Uh, back then, bro, a lot of scouts wasn't coming to the OAL, bro. It's just facts. And a lot of people, a lot of times the scouts did come, it was from word of mouth, from, Ex people like I keep it a thousand, bro. Like Stacy Pettis used to put. I'm talking about he had, had hella scouts everywhere. Like he was he was the manager, you know. And then uh, Bip motherfucking um uh, uh d- d- they just had these diff- like they are they Sam like they knew people. They been playing. They played travel ball and was here there. They knew people who had that that could push that word of mouth type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, the only only coaches in OEO that got that word of mouth and one of them was Joe Basley. He gone. Like and that's just with football, but another one, the other one's Michael Peters, Coach Pooh. Hey, so let me ask you this though: So, are you are you seeing that type of thing with your son now that went from San Leandro to Max? That uh, it's easier to get out there at McClimbs than it was at San Leandro? Nah, Los, I, now, now look, now, now hear me, now listen to this, right? 
talking about mine, right? He do what he gonna do what he do wherever he was at. You know, he was over there, he led the team in rushing, tackles, to you know, all the shit, right? He come over here and he, he kind of like do he like he, it's him and him and my little partner Jay and they doing the same thing. Right, right, so right. I don't know if you know, but that that damn near this that whole team is my team from East Bay that year. Like right now this year now uh-huh. that's like my whole team from East Bay that one year had them like 12, 13. But 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 it's not it's not it's not a it's easy for him to get out there. This is chess, not checkers. You know what I'm saying? That like my son had an option to pick where he wanted to go, and guess where his partners was at? His partner was at Mac. Right, like right. Clyde has kept. I was I wanted to go to Castlemont. And I'm not, I am don't care if they're good or not. My thing is, Ed know people. And what I mean by that is he know people. That's that word of mouth type shit. You know, like you see I, you see every year. Ed got three, four scholarships a year from kids that you probably even thought of. Like, man, how you get it? You know what I'm saying? But that's what he pushing over there because that word of mouth really worked. Getting these kids somewhere. If you, that's like if I knew you, Lo, and I called you, you as a coach somewhere. Hey, man, hey, man. Lo, this a bad boy over here, man. Oh, what? I'm going to send somebody come check him out. You know what I mean? Right. Like right nowadays, they got Twitter and all this shit. Back then, if we had all of that, we, it probably been a lot of more motherfuckers from Oakland that got signed and drafted. But because you know what I'm saying, certain victim of circumstances back then, technology wasn't what it is now. So we had to rely on you know just actually being good and the newspapers writing up on you and, and you connection. and your, your connections. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what it was. Absolutely, man. I shout out that. to Ed, man. When you gave him his props, I gotta give Ed a shout out. You know that's my um. Man, love, I know, I know. I don't, you know, I know how I go. Yeah, but that's my guy, man. Shout out to Ed, man. And to hear you been an alumni and could give those type of statements of I, I wanted my son to go here because of this dude. Just let me know that Ed is doing the right thing, despite because he got a whole lot of shit that go always fight against him. I'm pretty sure you had the same shit that fought against you at Cal. Always. Too which is what the school is perceived to be, what the neighborhood is perceived to be. Some people be like, I don't want to touch that shit. You know? And, and that's another thing too, bro. I, the, the stigmas behind these, you know, we need to let go of that shit, bro, because I remember Skyline was considered like a, you know, preppy school, you feel me? Now, they, Skyline... They, 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 they got more violence up there than they do in any school in Oakland right now. Then you got to look at, like, McClellan's in the middle of West Oakland. Castlemont and Fremont. is a Fremont on High Street, bro. Like you got the stigmas is changing, bro. I'm I'm in Brookfield, bro. I bought my house in 2012, bro. It's white people outside walking right now with their dogs and shit, bro. Like it's the stigma is not the same like it used to be. You feel me? Like at Castle it's not the same. Granted, mother gonna hang around because that's what they do, but at the same time, if your kid about their business and want to go straight to school and do what they gotta do, you shouldn't have to worry about that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care where you go, it's Oakland, Las Vegas, uh New York, you go to fucking Belvedere, Burbank, California, shit happens. Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's All right, we pivot, we pivot a little bit, man. So now I need you to give somebody their props, man. Who was underrated on the football side? Underrated on the football side to me. Underrated. 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 Well, I I don't I don't nah, nigga wasn't underrated. That I just that nigga was my hero, nigga. Uh, but, <laughs> but he he could have been your hero but still. No, he wasn't ready. underrated though. Nah, do, nah. Who? This this is one. Who was it? I ain't gonna tell you. No, that's my hero. I ain't gonna, I never. I ain't gonna buy or say it online. I ain't gonna group you, nigga. But that was my hero, nigga. Like underrated though. What's cool? Underrated. Underrated. Underrated to me. Let me see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to scan through all of the schools right now. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking. Of, um. I'm thinking. Of, um, okay, Castlemont. Underrated uh, baseball. I'm gonna say me, of course, but I ain't gonna do that. I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't selfish. Um, football, Castlemont, Skyline, Nope, Fremont, Fremont, Tech, Mac. I nope. I I I, I y'all had him on here, bro. Ooh, I know who was underrated to me, bro. That nigga Gino didn't get enough credit, bro, for what he did at Fremont, bro. A lot of people say Gino, that. Gino Vi- Gino Vitale, nigga. I'm not that nigga. He 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 didn't get enough credit for what he did at, at that school, bro. You feel me? Even though his little punk ass used to hide behind Etrim, big ass. He did he did a lot of shit at that school, bro. My nigga used to I'm, I'm, he did a lot of shit at school, bro. He was at everything, no cap. Like, I mean everything, bro. Hey, would you would you agree that Gino as well? Because we had someone say Dub C was underrated too. <laughs> you don't think Dub was underrated? Hey, cuz, no, cuz. How can I sum that up, bro? Like, nah, nah, that was, that was good. Though. I mean, I'm going to say good. I mean, everybody's better than us. I just seen, but on the field, what I seen on the field, I mean, he don't get enough credit. Like like I say, like, man, 
See, niggas be niggas be you know how niggas be hating on Skyline and shit. Like, oh Skyline was it? I'm not hating on Skyline, but I just don't like the fact that Blood be up that hill tripping. But like, if if you put, I I I'll tell you this, if you would any running back you put at Skyline, they gonna eat, bro. The, in those years, they was gonna eat. You know why though? Them niggas had linemen on both sides of the ball, bro. So you said they were well, they were well coached. They were well coached no, with he schemes. He didn't say bro. they was all overrated. He just said you could plug plug and play. But he didn't well, say I'm talking about overrated. So, but I seen Gino put up numbers against a lot of motherfuckers on the under, though. You feel me? Yeah. So on the under. Thing, that goes back to the argument, though, Ken. So the argument Gino said was, he said before Giannis, he said all skyline running backs, right? And it was because you can't put a uh, Raj who played defensive tackle the year before at running back and he be all OEL player of the year. He, is, he, is he a running back or is he just a Person that's running product, a product, a product, a product of that yeah, system. I, huh? I think Raj is did what he did. I mean, obviously, you ain't gonna do what you did because you got the line, so obviously, you're gonna do more. But I'm saying Raj would have put up big numbers, but with, anywhere. But, 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 I don't with know, Ken. With being the first, I don't know, Ken. I don't know, I can't see Raj coming to Ohio, Castleman putting up big numbers, bro. I Those years, bro. Maybe not Castleman because y'all, no, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to keep care. it cool, but Castleman was really, really bad. We were but, terrible, but, we but, was terrible. But, we but terrible. any other school, he cannot go yes. to Fremont and do that, can he? All right, hey, 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 we don't so. get off of that. Just, we don't so. get off of that. Fremont, just, <laughs> Fremont that. Had just got done almost beating Skyline in the Silver Bowl. Fremont wasn't bad. That was two years removed. It was two years removed. Ah. Uh, Ken. Hey man, I, I don't know, man. So. It was Ken, we we broke. Raj was Superman to me. But <laughs> yeah, 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 I understand. I, I was, that was a hero. I got you. <laughs> hey, we, we talk about we talk about I understand linemen, that. We talk about linemen that's going to block second and third levels. Wasn't no other school doing that. That's okay. So okay, level. so what you t this is that you basically what you're saying is let's say Gino went to Skyline. Uh, nigga, so nigga, what you're basically saying is he couldn't have did what he did at Fremont, but he did do it at Fremont. No, no, no. That no. you said underrated. See, I'm not saying I'm not saying he broke out of records and shit. I'm saying I'm talking about as far as like him being underrated. Like niggas don't give him enough credit, bro. No, I they agree don't with give that. him his props enough, no, no, bro. Like I, I hear I hear cats all the time talking about uh, uh who the best running back. Mind you, not I never said he was the best running back. I seen him out over here either. I'm saying, but when I hear that conversation and they never even mention his name, bro, and it be cats my age, your age, your age, and they never say his name. They always think about his little brothers. Or his big brother, you know, they'll never say Gino. But I, 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 I personally believe he was underrated because I feel yeah. like he was, he really was dope like that, bro. As far as like, you know, what he did, I mean, he was dope, bro. Yeah, you know, and I don't mean, you know, it is what it is. Be, I, I can see him being underrated. Too. That might be the athlete's point of it, though, because sometimes we say who the best athlete, we might throw Gino there. Motherfucker will go get three hundred yard rushing and three defensive touchdowns too, right? Yeah, he was, and, he was trash in baseball. He was trash in baseball. Don't let him lie to you. <laughs> so, hey, but now let's let, let, let's speed this up, right? After the thing, right? Bring me to you being drafted. What did was it uh, right out of high school? Did you go JUCO for a year? What was it? So what happened was I ended up, you know, I was killing. But let me see. So after I got, I got drafted right out of high school, then um I I got some little paper in the mail. Mind you, not I was bouncing around place to place, like I said, bro. I was living with my sister. Living with, you know what I mean? All through high school, those are just, you know, place to place. But my sister wasn't even my real sister. This is like a family friend sister, right? So I got papers in the mail and shit from the Red Sox and shit. And she signed the papers and signed the wrong name on there type shit. It was just crazy. But I ended up, they drafted me. They cut me a little punk ass, a little check. Then it was like, okay, we're going to draft you. We're going to follow you. I'm like, this ain't no bullshit. I'm like, nah, I thought y'all going to give me money now. So that's when I said, hold on. Fucking train. Anyway. So my sister was figuring, oh, they're going to give you money now, money now. At 18 years old, I'm money now, money now. Bro, I had, like, I mean, I had colleges want me to come play football, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so, but but at the time, I was like, nah, let me just, nope, I want this money now. I'll be able to spend some money now, now. But they were driving for you. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I ended up going to, I went to Laney for a semester, bro. I went to Laney for a semester and, and walked on the field. Guess who the fuck I seen? Who that? Really Motherfucking bad. Markham, the, the, the swing. Oh, Markham, Markham King. <laughs> yeah, Markham. I'm like, damn. I'm like, he like, man, what? I said, nigga, I was like, man, what? Like, it was like, oh, nigga, you here now? Like, yeah. But anyway, 
I killed, I killed that far ball. I killed me. I'm talking about kill, bro. Kill. They was like, yeah, we need to get, get this, get, get this situated. But during the time, you know, this after high school, during the time, you know, we was, we was, it's fast money fee. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, you know, we was doing hell of shit. We, we, we selling, we, we taking stolen cars. We selling stolen cars and shit. And fast, I get in trouble. So I, I, what, a, what a lot of people don't know is I got drafted twice. Mm, I didn't know that. Twice. So I get in trouble. I end up going to the pen. I get out the pen. Um, so I'm not trying to play. I'm trying to play ball still. I'm trying to you know, the Red Sox give all their rights to me, some old weird shit like that. Then I get, I was able to get drafted again. So I got drafted again, like in 2001, right after 2000. Give me by the Brewers at that time. They need private workouts and all that shit. Like, you know, tomorrow, but shit, for the most part, shit, the drafted shit, the, the, the whole, the whole shit was like, it was like a dream come true. Some shit that you wanted all this time and then it happened. You know, like, oh shit, that's what's up. And then it don't then it don't materialize, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well that's all right. Let but can I go back? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Being drafted and all of that shit, how serious was you even before you got drafted towards the sport? I wasn't just something I'm just good I wasn't it. even serious about it, bro. I, I, when I, I was just good at it, bro. You feel me? I wasn't serious at it. I had a strong arm. I literally was throwing like like 93, 94, bro. My my fastball, bro. I was hitting, I was hitting the ball over 385, but like, you know, tomorrow over the gate. Like, I was, I was just, I was just built for that, bro. Natural, just gifted natural. Natural, natural. I didn't even like working out, cuz. I just started working out to like 10th grade, bro. But before the draft, before, working out. before the draft and shit, was they contacting with like, yeah, I was, was doing in touch to, with you. I was gonna work out to hell shit. I even fucked up because so it wasn't they a surprise. Me. No, it, it, bro. It was, it was a surprise. But when I, when I, when they drafted me, they actually wanted me to go to this thing called, I can't think of the name of it. I want to say it was called the Area Code Games in L.A. That's what they wanted me to go to. Mm -hmm. But like I say, nigga, I didn't have no money. I can't make it to no fucking L.A. They didn't give me no money or nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. But they wanted me to go play in this fucking, um, in this, in this, in this Area Code game. This is, this is during high school because they drafted me in, you know, anyway. So they wanted me to go play and I couldn't make it to that shit. I came down there. But I guess what it was was they, they put like all of the, you know, the drafts, draftees and all the people that they think about the prospects and one little, in five different baseball fields, and then we all play like for a couple, like two weeks, two weeks or something during the summer though. But I could, I couldn't make it down there. I ain't go down there. I was, I was having funny. I was at the side shows doing donuts and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm serious in the motherfucker for real, for real. And we I'm not even lying to you. And we were talking to Coach Mob about the area code games and stuff, and how he wanted to get them to do something like that up in up out here, Oakland Coliseum, use that um, type of thing because we do have a nucleus of young talent in baseball in the Bay Area, right? In our area code, I should say, right? So he's mobile talking about trying to get them to do that because what happened is it's a lot of kids shying away from baseball, right? Like, did your son play baseball? I don't even my, know. My son did play baseball. He did? How? He got a strong, he got a strong arm right now. He got a he got a cannon like his pops had. I seen him throwing the football. He, I did see he, him throwing the football against Pitt. I did see I was at the game against Pitt. He don't he it's like, bro, I promise to God, bro. I my so I'm like saying you don't play this one he like. 12, 13, bro. So you don't need to be playing no fucking football year round. Baby, you got a travel team. Look, look, son, play baseball. Bro, when I say I put him in this little league out here in San Leandro, I forced him to play in there, right? Then after you did that, I took him out there and I, I put him with the Saint with Sam with uh Sam Taylor. But he went to this little punk ass league, bro. I can't make shit up. He struck out six batters, he hit a double and a single, got in the car, bro, and was like, Can I go play football now? I was just looking at that big white. Like, are you serious? No, we going to play for the Saints because Sam said he got a team, so we gonna play for them. Like it was just, it, it's crazy, bro. I'm serious. Like he got everything naturally, he got it honest, bro. But it's like Jesus, man. Like it's just, it's not, it's not popular to the kids. Yeah. But being at San Leandro, see, that's another thing too. At San Leandro, while he was at San Leandro, he was into baseball again because he had white partners that was playing baseball. Mm -hmm. They, I'm like, well, like he like that. He had the batting cages. I'm juiced, like, hell yeah, nigga, all right, it's later, nigga, you feel me? But, man, yeah, that shit, hey, like, you playing? He like, yeah, they just had me in the cage just throwing for hell long. I'm like, yeah, they they, ain't pretty, they trying to make you a pitcher, bro. Like, that's it, that's all. But then he was playing football, talking about his arm sore. So it was like, uh, you know, I, yeah, it was like, yeah. So yeah. it is what it is. Absolutely, man. So you get drafted again. You go in second draft. Did you ever go into training camp or anything, or was it like, nigga, I'm in, I'm in the street still with it? I went, I went to Arizona. I went to Arizona for some team called the Mudcats for a weekend, bro, and then I came back home. 
It was it was the Brewers. It was a it was, it was a farm. I want to say it was a I can't remember. I think it was a mud cat or some shit like that. But I was just I was just going out there just working out. And then um when I, I just came back home, bro, it was like nobody looked like me, cuz like everybody, nobody looked like me. Nobody. Mm. I can't make the shit up, bro. So when I was out there, they had these things called rovers, bro. They'd be like, go talk to the rover, go have the rover. The rover is somebody, a positional coach that you want to talk to, right? Mind you not, nobody look nobody looked like me, cuz everybody looked like a piece of white paper, you know what I'm talking about? So, mind you not, they do we doing info outfit drills, and I know this is, bro. Like, you know, the kid, you know, mind you not, these is these motherfuckers is 24, 25, bro. This ain't this ain't location no more, these are dotes, right? So, the motherfucker behind, you know, I'm from the center field, I was fast, you know what I'm talking about? They come up, hit them, they fly balls, pow, hit it right to them, they run through the ball, make a little nice catch, <laughs> boom, throw it right, boom. Hey, man, I get up there, and they, bam, you bury balls, nigga. I gotta run to the track, run the track, make a catch, make a strong throw. But I noticed that happened every time. It wasn't like some oh shit. Mm. I had nobody to talk to, nobody to call. You know what I said, nigga? It wasn't about me. Mom's was, you know, granny was the only, you know, so I I was like, fuck, I'm going home, bro. Went home. I didn't fuck me anyway, because I was I had attitude out there. You hear me? One thing about one thing about baseball, bro, is that is and will always be um, how can I say this? My Caucasian friend sport, if that their makes sport. sense. I'm not, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 their sport, and it's like, you know, as as good as you can be. Bro, and I, I'm sorry, this is, I just had an epiphany, bro, about the question you asked about why it's not popular, right? Remember coming up, bro, like in the 60s and 70s, bro, we wasn't born yet, but they had black baseball players, bro. Like that Dave Stewart, Dave Henry, like that was the 80s and 90s, but think about that. We inspired and we liked it. We saw people that looked like us on the screen, bro. And I promise to God, bro, that's when baseball was fun, bro. Like we could, I remember mean, I used to be talking about Eckersley pitching the ball, but you know, I'm Dave Stewart. Like you, you know, when he's like Kobe when he used the ball. Now I'm gonna pitch like Eckersley on this on this mound. I'm gonna do like Dave Stewart. Yeah, exactly, man. Right? The kids don't see that nowadays. That's why I feel like it's not popping like that, bro. But it's like, and on the flip side though, like from the 60s and 70s, baseball was 60 percent black, and a lot of people don't know that, bro. But but now, you know, I, I know they got my Dominican brothers and my uh my my, my Mexican brothers on their teams and shit now, but. Now baseball is probably like three percent black, bro. And 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 my thing is this: they go in these other countries to, to 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 get these players to play on these teams, bro. But but they got this talent right here in their backyard. Because one thing, two things, for show sure. every time we went out of town, like we were talking about the All Stars and going to beat them teams, we would for sure be better than the teams. But we was more we was athletic, more athletic, right? Because it's in our genes, it, you know, it's in our DNA to be athletic, like that, fast, quick, strong. You know what I mean? And but their fundamentals would always get us, you know. What I'm if, that, if you get what I'm talking about, absolutely. But, absolutely. but 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 we didn't even work out as much as they were. They trained seven days a week, and they, and and they, and we were still better than them. Can you imagine if we trained seven days a week at the sport they was doing? How much better we would be than them? But I'm not I'm not put, I'm not making that a, a us versus them type thing. What I'm saying is like that. That's why baseball is not fun no more, bro. Like you know, a lot of kids don't they don't see no LeBrons on the football, on the baseball field. They don't see no you know what I mean the last the last the last black dude that had any type of swag about himself was. Uh, McCutcheon, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Pittsburgh, yeah, or 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 or, exactly. You hear me? You (laughs) know what I'm talking about? The kids don't, the kids don't, they can't relate to that. You know what I'm talking about? But that's why I think that's like, I think that's why they like that though. That's crazy. We we talked to Coach Mobile about that. Yeah, yeah, he he desperate. You know, he a baseball guy. He desperately, desperately wanted to come back. But if I'm gonna be honest, when they got born for me, because like I told you, I never played football before on a team until I got to high school. So once I got to high school and I'm nigga, it's a homecoming. This shit is lit. It's a pep rally. It's yeah. all this shit, right? Yeah. Then you go to baseball and I'm sitting there for three hours. It, nigga, it was at a walkathon. Nigga walked everybody. <laughs> nigga, I'm not man, I ain't never, I ain't I ain't coming back after this, bro. I'm going to the fun shit, right? <laughs> and I get it, man. Um but I do like the way it is. I think like this draft alone five the five picks in the first round was actually black like not that's like, that's dope african american african that's dope african-american. african-american yeah that's dope the first five picks was african-american black and then we got i don't know if you know rashad but we got his son he um hey, rashad edwards rashad nah, um two bob nephew two bob nephew nah nah he's at bishop o'dowd he's a freshman he's hayes at hayes hey nah. rashad hayes he signed at stanford um you know dave bernstein you know Dave Bernstein from Vallejo, dark skin day. He dark skin. Yeah, his son signed a cow. So for baseball, so they baseball. got some. Oh, know, that's what's up. 
it, it's coming, it's coming back. But the what, 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 what I'm naming is what fathers. Yeah, fathers. They're they there. fathers. Pushing you know that. what I'm saying? Because one thing is, baseball is the most expensive sport to play. The expensive, most the, expensive. The expensive. I don't, I don't care about AAU basketball. I get it. Y'all parents spend a bag on that. Go play baseball, and you got to yeah. be in North Carolina one week, then Arizona the next. You like, hey, travel baby. baseball is something, bro. <laughs> So something, something. Is you got it's alone. Bags alone, bro. That shit expensive, bro. And expensive. so not even the traveling there. They stay equipped with the, with them. You need the training you talk about. Now I'm not talking about training. I mean a fielding coach, a batting coach. If you're a pitch, right. pitching coach, and right. they taxing, right? It's better off like man, my son. We going to play football, bro. Because I'm, we go, we spend your college tuition on trainers. Basically, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, Hopefully we can bring that um it get back. I um like we say, Coach Mobe is trying to figure it out. Um uh, Terry, Terry was trying to redo um Oakland Bay Roof, whatever it is, help him yeah. out. It's in in our city, it's, it's it's not a baseball city. Hopefully they can figure that out because it was so much talent, all relationships built from us to that baseball type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was, we had Greenman Park. What you talk about? Your, the village connections, right? Yeah, the village connections. We are, Everybody connected to somebody from the village and all came from Beirut because we had that connection with them out there, right? So definitely that that that, that hopefully they could get that back, man. Um, but another thing I want to talk about, feet man, is the role you are as a father, right? And how that is opposed to you you not having that, right? So what is, is little feet your only kid? You got you got you no, I got I got two. You got, I got two. two. Okay. Another boy or another girl? I got a girl, a girl. Okay, okay. But the role you've been with Fee, right? Because you was coaching him before I even came into the picture, coaching and all of that type of stuff, being there, doing all of that. How much of that you not having your dad went into doing that with Fee? All of it. Okay. All of that. That had to do with everything, bro. Because my thing was this. Of course, we want our kids to be better than us, bro, right? <clears throat> In every aspect of life, you know what I mean? But like, so like me and my me and my sons, me and my son's mom, we we still cool. We like we that's like my sister. You feel me? <laughs> brother and sister. Hey, but like an analogy, she said be your best friend, best like my friend. partner. Uh, that's like my sister, bro. She, hey, look, she comes from the family events and everything, bro. She's like my sister, bro. I know what you're saying, bro. Hey, I heard a friend that was somebody. You and sisters on sisters on. No, but I love her to death, bro. We're changing the world. So like you know, me and her had a, my, I had Ferrari since he was like six and a half months old, bro. You know what I'm talking about, like. I just told her like when we separated way back when, like you know he is suddenly you can't teach you a woman can but cannot raise a man the proper you know the proper way. That's how I feel. That's my opinion. Um, so I just you know so I've had him ever since then, and uh, everything that I did not have, I tried to be for my son. You know what I mean? Like I used to be sitting back thinking like, man, what if I had a dad take me to practice every day, ride me about working harder, getting to the front of the line? Why you in last? Like if I had that, I probably been, I was good, but I would have been so much better. You know what I mean? So I want my son to be that. Why my son? I don't never want him to be like my dad didn't fuck me like that. I will punch him in his throat if he ever said shit like that. Like for real, for real. Because that oh, is, it was the exact opposite. I, I just had another conversation with somebody about um, our kids and how I was. I was so I used to be so mad because I felt like he was naive. Like you don't know what really lurk around these dark corners. Sometimes you got to be more careful, more aware of what's going on in, in the world. But my thing is. I, I shouldn't be mad at him because that's not how I raised him. I didn't raise him like that. Right. So he don't know. He is naive. You know what I'm talking about? I can tell him, but I can't really tell him. I can't really show him. I can tell him, but I can't really show him. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the no, no knockoff, though. Like, if I probably had a five figure, my father probably wouldn't uh, He wouldn't allow me to do some of the stuff I was doing. You feel me? Right. Like, I mean, sit your ass. Sit your dumb ass down. Go take a chill pill. Like, you know what I mean? But no, nah, it was just me wild. And I had to answer nobody. I was 15, 16 years old, and I answered to nobody. Hey, listen, nobody. But the law, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I feel like I got to get that to my son. And I, I feel like, honestly, though, no, I, like I say, bro, I don't be want no pats on the back. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I, <laughs> bro, I'm laughing because this girl was like, oh, you watch your son all the time? I said, I was like, I was like, how the fuck I watch something that's mine? Like, it, just, it, just, it threw me off. I, I caught an attitude. That I knew right then I was a great father, bro. Hey, <laughs> so the, mind, the mindset, the mindset. So, you yeah, the mindset, bro. So, <laughs> as a as a father advocate, right? I know we don't do this shit for accolades, right? But I pat everyone on the back that's doing that thing with their kids, just because it's so many that don't, right? 
So it's just, like I remember walking with my son. It's he Prince is 13 now. And he was in the vast, vast and shit, right? And we in Safeway in San Francisco. And a white dude come up to me. He got his son in the shit. And he like shook my hand because it blew his mind that he don't see black fathers doing this type of shit. And I'm just there looking at white dude like, bro, I run circles around you and his father in the department, right? So that it made me take pride in it because of what I same shit, what I didn't have, what I didn't even what I didn't have, what I don't want him to go through, right? Exactly. So it'd be more so like, let me be on this, let me be on this, man. So I salute all the all of it, man. Just seeing you out there with him and still, man, he about he 18, getting ready to go to college, and that's gonna be another journey, right? That's a whole other journey that comes forth with being a parent. So I just I salute all of them like Off that. Top, you know, it's a pre- you know, got, it's got two daughters, man. And Ken's daughter is probably I got four going to daughters. The, four daughters, right? Four daughters. But he got two he got one daughter that's going to the flag football hall of fame. Like literally <laughs> Jersey getting that nigga say four of them. Four right? They all pretty. And it's like all daughters, and it, it's like, man, even that's some, that's some next level shit. It's four of them. Like, you, Facts. you got Facts. to deal with I got right? one in got, college now. I'm like, uh, you got to call yeah. a little line of them. Damn. Hey, talking about her boyfriend. I'm like, 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 I'm glad I did to be I'm trying to live right. through Lolo little text message posts. I'm like, yeah, Lolo, <laughs> I ain't that good yet. Let me ask you this, see? <laughs> and it's a put you on the spot thing, right? I need you to rank your five. Your five. My five what, though? I'm about to tell you. Yeah. I ain't talking about the women, man. I, ain't <laughs> about the women. Oh, man. I had a call on this. Okay, go ahead. I would have ducked off on that. Hey, top five. <laughs> Your five. Castlemont athletes. Castlemont athletes? Castlemont athletes. I asked some my top five athletes. Of all sports? All, whatever, yeah. Athletes. All sports? Girls and boys. All sports. And if you, I, hey, listen, i let you extend it to eight. But as top, I want to know top five. My top any, five any athletes. Order. Any order. But see, an athlete to me, bro, is somebody who just like really play. I mean, yeah. no, but I don't know, bro. Know, let me tell you. Cause look, Serena Williams played one sport, but she goes up as a top athlete. Right? I don't know, and I don't get that because I, I feel like you know, an athlete, like like on the, on the West Coast, on the new on the new things, you'd be a running back or an athlete or a right. back or a, like an athlete is so not your athlete is Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson. That's an athlete. That's an athlete right. to me. That's an athlete to me. Right. But it's athlete, you know, athlete of the year with ESPN vote, they picking a nigga that played one sport. Yeah, that's how I shit. I be talking about that's how I shit. So, for the sake of this, all right, this rank your top five. Hey, how, how you? How you? How you, <laughs> how you see it? Top five. Go by sport, man. Go by sport. I, you can go by sport. I can no, go by because if you go eight. If you go eight top eight I will, football players, I will, I will, I will, eight football players. I, I put it like this. I will, I will name one. I will name two from each sport. How about that? Okay, go. Yeah. I'll give you I like that. that. Uh, I have two from each sport. All right, so you have two, two top my two top baseball top players. Baseball baseball players from, from Castamont. Um, you got an argument, boy. It's, it's all good. I, I don't worry about it. Um, in my area that I say my top two yeah. is, I got to go to Vall. I got to go to Vall, and then I got to go Besides me, right? Not me, right? Anybody that's not me, no, right? Put you, you can say you. I gotta go. I gotta go to put yourself in it for both sports, though. Yeah, go. I'm gonna take the nine in the baseball when I'm gonna get it to Tavaro and um and little bit, little bit. Don 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 Smith. You go. They call that. They they be I get I get Don Don over. Don Don was like Don Don was like my little. Don't get me, don't get me twisted, man. Them was, they like my little niggas. Like they was, I was, they was, they was my BGs, but as I went, they went, bro. Like you, bro. When I start chipping, then they start chirping. Like you know what I'm saying? That's how it was. But I give it to Don Don because Don Don was just not always a nigga funny as fuck, bro. But the nigga was a real dog, man. He because he agitate you and he'll really fight you. Like you, know <laughs> like that was he was a dog, but not as far as like being the best though. I give it to Brown and Don Don. I give it to them too. Okay. Over Quinn, my heir. Over, you that over quick. Okay, now let's go to the football side. Football side. Uh, athletes. Shit, we was trash, nigga. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I give you this, though. I give you this. And I, because me and this nigga be arguing about this all the time. I was better than him. I, I was better than him. He was faster than me, though. I was stronger. I got them ugly yards. You feel me? I get the, I give one of them to Murphy. Lamar Murphy. Lamar Murphy. Okay. I give one of Lamar Murphy. And uh, Murphy, he was fast as fuck, but he didn't want, he didn't want them ugly yards, bro. He didn't want he didn't want to give them to them tackles. Okay. And uh, shit, 
athlete, Gabriel Hurt. I don't know him. Man, you know who that nigga was, though? No, that only... had Kareem on y'all team, too. Was Kareem? Man, no, nigga, no. No. <laughs> I, I, don't fuck, hey, Lowe, I don't fuck with you either because you're a prima donna to the receiver ass nigga. No, <laughs> yeah. but I'm about, no, no, look, for real. Because I, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm, I, I didn't see, I had seen instances. Kareem was, Kareem was dope. I see instances over there, like, nigga, based it outside, and that nigga wasn't blocking, bro. That, 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 that burned me up, bro. Like, so I used to be like, man, you take, you, get that nigga off the field, coach. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> But uh, uh, Tex, Tex, his name is Gabriel Hurt. His real name is Gabriel Hurt. They just call him Tex. Uh-huh. Low, y'all played against him, bro. He won like number 20, bro. Him and his brother moved from Texas. Them niggas was busting, bro, but he, he didn't have nothing to help him. I got I to gotta, I gotta look at that. Gabriel, Gabriel Hurt. He go he go the most difficult one for you, though, right now, though. No. It's going to be easy, watch. No, it ain't. Girls basketball. Ashalik Johnson and motherfucking um, um, Ashalik and fucking um, – and fuck, bro. Ashley Johnson and um, motherfuck, she had the handles, but uh, was it Tasha? Oh, the shooter. Ashley Johnson and fucking um, what was the shooter name? She went to mayor. I think she went to mayor. She did go to mayor. She Tasha? went to mayor. Tasha? No, no, not Tasha. No. Ashley Johnson and fucking, I want to say they called her smooth, bro. I'm a, I'm okay. like what year? Before us or after us? And so this was before me. These these might be ninety nine. They ninety nine. They ninety nine. I'm with with Ashley Johnson and um and I want to say her name was Smooth. If her name wasn't Smooth, but she was a guard on that team though. Tashaka. She was nice, bro. She was nice. No, not Tashaka. Tashaka. No, not Tashaka. Not Tashaka. Rest in peace, Tashaka too, no, bro. Not Tashaka. No, not Tashaka. I just text my cousin. We go come back to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now boys basketball. Boys basketball. Yeah. The 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 best. The best athlete or the best player I've ever seen at Casamat? Player. You go Just answer player. the question. All right, at Casamat, the best for Shirley, bro. You know I'm going to say Paul. And for, and for the record, nigga, I beat Paul in 21. That's how dope I was in basketball, nigga. That's Fact break, check. I that's told you breaking news. That. That's breaking news. Fact <laughs> check that. Fact <laughs> check that. Paul going to let us know. <laughs> I'm definitely hey. going to cut that up and send it. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Then, um. Let me see. Paul is Paul is dope, but then Yeah, because y'all don't really know, but that nigga Keith was that nigga, bro, for real. No, bro, I can't even say that, bro. Nah, bro, nah, bro. I gotta give it, I gotta get two of them. I gotta give one of Keith and the man, bro. I'm sorry, bro. They gotta have like co co some. I can't just pick two right there, bro. I gotta pick three, bro. Because okay. uh I, Keith was Keith was see now we're talking about athletes, Keith played all three sports. Yeah. Like I did. You feel me? It was good. So, but 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 we talking about the best I've seen do it. Keith and Manning was a cold little backcourt, bro. I mean, them niggas. Was... Fuck, I'm lying, bro. Damn. No, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say Paul and fucking Keith Don Don Man Man. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the, so so what you what you saying is Don Don Keith makes the athlete list. Yeah, they make the athlete list. Man Man was wrong. Man Man was wrong basketball, bro. Here you go, my, here you go, here you go my last one. Out of the castle, my top two dice shooters. Top two dice shooters, nigga. What's up, bro? Let me see. Top two dice shooters, bro. You gotta go. I, gotta, with Jay I, I was thinking Ryder. that. Wait, I don't wait, wait, even wait, know. Wait, time out. No, no, no. Listen, Jay Ryder wasn't at castle when I was there, though. I know, but he's uh, but, but this nigga is a at. Come on, bro. Man, this nigga had to get at the casinos together, but like. Nigga, four or five in the morning, bro. I know he's a gambler. Yo. He's, matter of fact, he still owe me $100. I'm glad you brought that up. Jay Ryder, if you see this, I owe my $100, nigga. We was on 106 and Max shooting, and he was like, here, give me that. I, yep, I owe my $100. Anyway, but during that time, bro, I'm going to tell you what shit. It was Don Don. <laughs> Don Don, ass, and motherfucking the gamblers. Bro. Don Don and Keith, bro. Don Don and Keith, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. So now we know who the app, they, they got, they, they make the athlete list there. Listen, it was a select few niggas who could actually that did hood shit and school shit. It was a select few, you feel me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But die shooters, yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, that was that was us all day. For sure. Jay Ryder's about to come in it. Yeah. Jay about to stand P. That's cool. Right? Hey, yeah. hey, look, hey, look, look, Jay Ryder, that's my nigga, bro. Look, I'm talking about it's so bad to where See, y'all don't know about Pie Gal, bro. Me and this nigga play Pie Gal, bro. Pie Gal. Oh, yeah, Pie Gal, bro. It's a whole different animal when it comes to that shit, but yeah. gambling, bro, nigga, we did that. Come on, bro. We did that in our sleep, bro. Yeah, I know. Pie like, that's, Gal. It, that's if you was in Oakland, everybody shot dice in Oakland. You feel me? 
No, nah, but yeah. you gotta be Hall of. We talking top two. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Hey, <laughs> hey, on my list, I'm on, on my list from Castlemont from what I've seen, right? And if I go baseball, I even go T Mac, and you win Don Don, I go Twan. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can even vouch for Quinn a little bit on that from when he was there. If I go football, I got to go. And I'm not talking about the era where when JB and Denny them came in. I didn't know too many of them, but I know they had a couple that win D1, I think, right? And when it, I don't know the Silver Bowl team is what I'm saying. But I go um, Lamar Murph. That's the prize. And I, you can put Murph in there, right? Um, but I do got you, um, Yale. But then it was, I got to go with Big Marquez, too, man. I got to put Big Marquez in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, um, my thing, but thing, yeah, yeah, I can't argue with that. Yeah, rest in peace, Quez, too, bro. I got to go Quez. Um, I go basketball. Paul, like, Paul might be Jersey retired. Come on, bro. That nigga, yeah, retired nigga Jersey, man. Don't hear retired. You talk about that nigga no more. You like to start saying uh, niggas besides Paul, nigga. They're top, <laughs> they're top basketball player, nigga. Yeah, for real, for real. Retire Paul Jersey, man, and put him up in the Raptors, right? Yeah. And that other one would become a thing because I saw Ben Hill. You know, I saw Ben Hill. I saw, um, I saw. Did you see Mike Franklin? No, he older. He old. He older. Um, but Ben Hill, I saw. I saw Kev Cockerham. I saw Kev. I saw so it's debatable, but then again, Keith did play as a freshman on VAR, all kind of shit, playing in the Luke Mine and them, right? So that I can even go on that aspect just from what I've seen, right? Girls basketball, we go. I, they they won every they was the Mac of basketball back then. You know, they just won everything. So you could pick anybody off that squad, uh, whether you're going with whether you're going with um I should go go for one. You got Maisha Jones and Rashida and all of them. So you can't really pick basketball hard, but I will add Maisha Jones. Maisha's? No. Tall Maisha, right? Like some Maisha? Yeah. Nah, bro. Hey, because look, we was in the gyms, bro, and they was like, you know, because they used to, in the middle, bro, was a motherfucker, bro. I can so see I, what I'm saying is like, Aisha was a different animal, bro, forever. I can see that, but I can see. Maisha Jones, like she was a walking damn near triple double. Yeah, at that yeah. Time. Just, like the California six, State six, record. Nine, nigga. She was six, <laughs> six, nine. I gotta go, Maisha Jones, right? Yeah. Now I gotta go. This gonna be one for you. It's another one for you, right? Rank, and I don't care. You played all these three sports, right? Need you to rank your top five coaches in your life all time. In my life, all time. <laughs> Shit, all time top five coaches. I didn't have a lot of them. Um. First and foremost, Stick wasn't a culture. I mean, coach. Stick was more like a father figure, but he okay. did coach me in basketball and you know, they, you know, the club, the boys' club shit. I go Stick. I go Coach Steve. Um, Stick, Coach Steve. I gotta go Coach D. I love Coach D like a like 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 a father too, bro. Um. What the fuck was that nigga name? But he he turned me into a dog on the basketball court. I can't even I can't remember his name, bro. That's crazy. Uh, but he he used to, he used to coach at the LYDC at Dreads. I forget his name, bro. Flo. Okay. Coach Flo, bro. He was a he 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 didn't open my eyes about being aggressive with everything, bro. You feel me? A make a make motherfuckers just don't even want to play you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let me see. Shit. That's it. And my mama. Okay. No. Nope. My mama, my mama was the first coach I ever had, bro. My mama for sure used to put a, a baseball glove in my hand and a ball and try to throw the ball to me and my eyes out and tell me to catch it. Fuck me up one year. I'm so serious. My top hey. five coaches. I can't even hey, I'm like you. I ain't have that many coaches. I didn't have that many coaches. I had to piggy off on like some position coaches here. Like I think about that like me and Ken had a coach in Lincoln. Like Dan Benson would go on my top five coaches thing. Yeah, yeah. One Dan Benson coached us, but then again, Dan Benson always like he told us the life shit that we needed for that sport, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coach Edwards taught us the life shit that was gonna happen being an adult. Like, I mean, you better get as this is what you're gonna need as an adult. Zoe. Zoe was the coach that taught us the real. He wasn't our coach per se, but he was the coach for every athlete that he knew in Oakland. 
and Zoe just told us the real shit. Like it wasn't yeah. no Wiley gagging with Zoe. It was like, man, you off top. You, if you soft, you soft. Zoe go tell you it wasn't no sugar coat shit. Um, then Coach Jackie, my nut, definitely number one. Yeah, yeah. Jackie is yeah, Jackie yeah. is the name your top five coaches outside of Jackie. Jack, Jackie was a cool coach, I, but you yeah. know, like so, you would think that I put Bip Roberts on that damn list, but nah, I didn't really like Bip. But yeah. I, and I, I'm saying that I'm not saying that with conviction. I'm saying it saying. Nigga, nobody on the team liked Bip because he was hard on us, bro. You feel what I'm talking about? And, mm-hmm. like, it was a uh, – but Bip went the war for us. Like, he he really was the one who got them scouts out there to come check us out. You know what I'm talking about? Like, but, but at the same time, we, you know, we just didn't get along. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean – but that, at that. The most, for the most part, he meant well, bro, like a motherfucker. But, you know, like I said, you talk about the teams I was on when Bip was coaching, we was a half-ass street team. You know what I'm talking about? True, true story, bro. True story about this street team that I'm talking about. Me and Keith, me and Keith, we on our way to go baseball practice, right? No cap. <laughs> when I'm in the back seat, Keith in the front seat. One of our partners, he, you know, he pull up. I don't say his name. He pull up like, hey, bro, we finna go. We finna go. Y'all, he like, where I go? We finna go to the foot baseball field, go to practice. He like, get on, get y'all niggas a ride. Police get behind us, right? He start tucking and moving around and shit. He say, fuck. He throw the car in the park. Bounce out. Right? <laughs> he don't tell us shit, bro. The coach? Uh, huh? You said the coach bounce out? No, nigga, no, no, no. The, our partner that, that who called okay. was in. But this, okay. this is a true story, bro. So Bip was our Bip was our coach at this time, right? This one I this one I was I respect Bip, but because as much as we didn't like the nigga, he went to war for us, bro. So Keith, Keith in the front car. Mind you not, I was fast on all the niggas. They couldn't nobody fuck with me. I was fast on everybody. I bounce out. Police start chasing, right? I do. Did he start to chase me? No, it's over. Straight away, you're not catching me, bro. I hit the gate, hit another gate, on the way to the road, go to practice. I go to the like, Bip, man, we just in the car. And I ain't trying to go over there, nigga. They got Keith. They got Keith in the car. Bip was like, what? He dropped all this shit, bro. Get in the car. Come on. I seen this man drive over to the police officer. He's going to take my nigga to jail. Hold on. What's she doing? Gonna take my nigga to jail. He like, hold up, hold up, man. These are my players. They come from Wolf. Man, hey, man, hey, let man, let him out the car. And I seen him. He let, that's you know what? I gotta put Bill up there, bro, because he really gave a fuck about us, bro. You feel me? And the other coach would have been like, oh man, he should he fucked up. Nah, nigga, we gonna get this. Let me get my play. Let me get my, my player out this car, bro. For real, for real. That's True ass up. story, bro. That's what's up. That is what's up, man. Hey, um. I'm going to make sure we covered everything before we before we start getting up out of here, man. Um, is there anything we I'm missing, Ken? Nah, I think we got it. Oh my, welcome to the OAM moments, nigga. What happened, bro? Welcome to the OAM moments. What happened, man, bro? Hey, what was so? You just told no. Did you tell me what it was? For, no, you told us when you came to the mound as a major coming in. I mean, minor coming in major. What was your welcome to the L moment for baseball and for football? For baseball, right? So I don't know if y'all remember though, but that same year that Tech had that team, Skyline had a motherfucking team too. They had Sean, John Thay, Terrell Taylor, Jr. Taylor, and and another thing I gotta tell you, bro. Like I hated Jr. Bro, I hated Jr. With a passion, bro. I I mean I love him to death, but I hated Jr. Bro, and the reason why is because I could never strike this nigga out, bro. This I would have, bro. Never, bro. I'm talking about. So three years of high school ball, I could never strike this nigga out, bro. Hey, God, bro. Hey, let me ask you something real quick before we go on to your um, you talk about that team, right? You watch our episodes. What was your thoughts on the Terrell Taylor Cesar argument, shortstop argument? What was your thoughts? Uh, who's a better who's a better glove? Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Better, bro, yeah. B- between them two, between them two, I'm gonna tell you right now. I seen C- Cesar was a bad motherfucker, but Cesar was always hurt, bro. So Bay Roof, he was he was decent. In high school, the nigga was always hurt. I'm going to keep it at that. He was hurt all the time. Or so they say he was hurt because he didn't really do a lot in high school. So I give it to JR, but that's not the best glove I ever seen in OL. What was it? The best glove I seen in OL was fucking Tavaro. Okay. Tavaro was sweet as fuck with the glove. You know what I'm talking about? But but flip, flip side of that, like, shit, I, if, you had, if you had to compare the two, I would put JR and Tavaro up there. You know what I'm talking about? As far okay. as Cesar and JR, JR. But when I put when I put JR to, to, to Tavaro, I say Tavaro. And I'm not being biased who's on the same team. I'm just saying about both of them niggas got gold gloves, bro. 
You know what I mean? If you if you want to rank high school ball, they both got gold gloves. We ain't nothing Ozzie against Bobby. We talking Ozzie Smith and Derek Jeter. No, exactly, but ain't them niggas ain't missing nothing. I seen Tavar make a play at second base and he was playing shortstop. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That's how good it seemed like that nigga was, but I'm not playing. They both had backhand, front hand, diving catches, all this shit, strong arms. They both was good. Them niggas didn't miss nothing. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. But I say it. Out of them two, out of Cesar and JR, for sure, JR. But okay. I mean, as far as the best, I, I, I would say probably tomorrow. Niggas okay. neck and neck. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Like I say, tomorrow, tomorrow didn't get drafted. Tomorrow, you know, he was quiet. So, you know, and like I say, tomorrow, dad, Will probably wasn't pushing, advocating for him like, you know, every, you know other other daddies was. You feel me? Okay. But, back to that Skyline team you was talking about. Okay. So imagine like they had, they had Max Sean. Them niggas had uh, another nigga that's underrated, bro. I'm sorry I didn't say this nigga name, bro. Lamar Mayberry, bro. And I, I, I promise to God, bro, I, I don't even want I want to I want to check everything I said, bro. Lamar didn't even throw hard, bro. Lamar had location like a motherfucker, bro. And he finessed you, bro. I mean, like finessed the fuck out of you, bro. And he didn't even throw hard. But that team that year, right? No cap. So I'm cocky. This the this is the year after the Trans Bay series, bro. That you know, take the skyline, y'all. They they play for it in the end, right? So uh, so I I but first. I, I want to say, it was was it Terry? Nah, it wasn't Terry. It wasn't Terry. What was that skinny, light skin name that played first base? It was a nigga that played first Kevin base. Kevin Austin. Lynn. Kevin no. Austin. Huh? Kevin Austin. No, I think it was Lynn. Ken, was it Lynn? No. I don't think I don't think Kev yeah. played first base. Ken at that. I time. think he got drafted too, bro. Oh, Jace. Jace, Jace. motherfucking Jace, Jace, bro. Jace, That's Jace Turner, name, bro. Jace Turner. Jace, Jace, Turner. Jace Turner, bro. Yes, bro. First, he hit me for a double. Boom. Okay. Mind you not, I'm pitching, bro. Like, you know, I'm pitching. He hit me for a double. Boom. Then, uh, <laughs> my, okay, hold on. You got to hear the whole shit. Why? Wow, this is my weapon on your moment. I talk so much. Y'all remember Monty Poole, bro? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A writer for the fucking newspaper, yeah, Oakland, bro? Yeah. So, Monty had hit me. He hit, he, he hit my grandmother. He called her in the house while I talked to him in the kitchen, bro. He, t- he asked me all this question on the phone. I'm not realizing he's marking this. He's putting this shit in the paper, bro. You hear me? So I'm talking all this shit about having to strike these niggas out and blah, blah, blah. Mind you not, we two of the top pitchers in OIL. Me and John. Me and John thing. No cap, right? So it's supposed to be this, this is big old thing, number 10 versus number 10. No, this is where I started at. I'm sorry, this is before. This, that's after. So this is where, my open to oil moment is where our rivalry started at. Me and John shit started at. So uh, niggas hit me up back to back four times, bro. Skyline, bro. Mm. <laughs> you hear what I'm talking about? Mm. I'm on the mound. First, it was Jace. <laughs> it was John. <laughs> then, 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 I think I think what I said was Jr. Jr. got a fucking d- single or something. And after he was down in the count, <laughs> he got on base. And my shot came to the plate. Right, shot hit me up. <laughs> All right, that's four in a row, bro. <laughs> the nigga, the nigga went around the bases, bro, and did the giddy up dance on the motherfucking plate. <laughs> No, but I was hot, so you know, hey, bro, I'm a real one, bro. I'm a real one, bro, and I can fight, nigga. I hit the next four batters, nigga. Beep, beep, beep. I, I, I pegged four niggas in a row, so you had to take me out that game, bro. But I was like, hey, I never talk again. I'm so serious. Where y'all was playing that skyline? That skyline, that low ass field, man. Yeah, nah, sure, yeah. But it matter, bro. Like you know, I'm talking hell of shit. I'm supposed to be carrying niggas, right? No, nah, nigga, them niggas was hitting me out. And then the cold part about it. The nigga Dejan Williams, Dejan will say, hey, Fee, hey, don't pitch against these niggas no more. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fight that nigga, bro. That shit was so funny, bro. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? That was my welcome to the oil moment in baseball, bro. What was it for football? Football. Remember when I told you I started lifting weights in 10th grade? Mm-hmm. All right, we playing tech, nigga. Oh, I flipped you this game, too, um, bro. Uh, you don't mean you just know it was me, though. That was me that flipped you on the sideline, nigga. You shut up. Yeah, it was you on the front. Yes, yeah, on the perfect nigga. On the perfect turn. Now, that was me that flipped you, cuz. <laughs> I just ran one back. I was about to run up. I ran two I back, and I pitched the ball. You I flipped you, bro. I flipped your ass, bro. Who, <laughs> I the game? Who got hurt? You got hurt? And I didn't mean to hurt. Somebody else got hurt. Oh, no. got hurt and we Somebody got ran over. Somebody got trying to block. You didn't have an MT, so they canceled the game. Man, you crazy in the motherfucker. Look, I, my, that, that, game my, that game is my welcome to the MOL game. Got it. 
Hey, Lee's Ken, I made somebody walk up to that. No, no, wait, 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 I heard this. Yeah, tackle Mikey. Yeah, tackle Mikey. Yeah, hell yeah. If you don't remember, cause the safety that I ran over trying to tackle on Mikey, but he scattered for like sixty yards. Hmm. Nigga, okay. I, I, I mind you, now I know who Mikey is, nigga. You know right. what I'm talking? The British ties. You go back to British ties. Right. Niggas know I, don't, I ain't going out. I'm a buck fifty. I'm wearing a buck fifty, buck sixty. You soaking wet? You feel me? I'm not going out of nothing. I don't give for who it is, what it is, bro. This tenth grade. I told you, low. I just started living to the tenth grade. And it was that game in the place, bro. I tried to meet this nigga in the hole. All I remember, all I heard was clack, clack, ooh. And I remember my one hand holding on to something, and I let it go. And then as I'm looking back, I see the nigga feet keep on going, like, but it was like, it was crazy. I went to the sideline woozy, bro. But I went back into the game like a G, nigga. I had like two. <laughs> hey, I cannot make this shit up, bro. That next day, I was like, man, I'm finna get my ass in this weight room, bro. I had to get in the weight room, bro. Right, yeah. That was an OL moment. No cap. 150 meeting. You should see how, like, when JV people try to, like, Mike, bro, the JV scrimmage, Mike. I don't tell you where we was at, but me and Mikey laughed about this shit for 30 minutes, bro. Right. That <laughs> we was, me and Mikey was in a mutual place, bro, and we just was talking about this shit, was laughing about that shit. That nigga, like, I remember that shit, nigga. But it is what yeah. it is, bro. Demo, welcome to that motherfucker OL moments. And hey, then basketball. Really? Ken, I'm gonna have to do your interview, Ken, because I never got your welcome to the OEL moments, Ken. It was like, tech. It was tech too. It was tech, <laughs> tech 98. <laughs> Them niggas had a lot of welcome to the I OEL laid on, moments. I laid on my back looking at the skylight. Do I still want to play football? Hey, that first yeah. year coming from the first year coming from here, Royce. Bro, first time playing football. Fuck that. I hated tech too. I hated skylight. I hated tech. I only hated tech in football because I was like, we don't really get that as many, but one year, nigga. See, a lot of cats don't know, nigga. It was Lamont Robinson before it was Marshawn, bro. But anyway, so how they go from one big ass nigga to another big ass nigga with a matter of a year? Cause was I, I didn't understand it, bro. I was like, who the fuck is this? This nigga, no. I'm like, bro, Mikey's gone. Who the fuck is this buff ass nigga, bro? Yeah. Man, it was that nigga Lamont Robinson, bro? I literally tried to trip Lamont because I was not finna try and tackle. Hey, I just nah, stuck my foot out, no. like literally trying no. to trip him. That shit they killed me. Bro. Really good one two punch that year with Lamont. Uh -huh. Raymond. Raymond. JJ was JJ. JJ. JJ, yeah. JJ, yeah. They had a little good one two punch with that shit, though. They nah, that, that, that second punch was a punch, bro. I'm going to say that nigga, <laughs> Mott was big, man. Had a jab punch. <laughs> Mott was big, nigga, for real, for real. <laughs> so, see, <laughs> hey, hey, before we get out of here, man, you got to send us out with some parting words, man. Uh, shit. Some parting words, man. Uh, hey, man, always stay true to yourself, man. You feel me? Be yourself because everybody else taking, bro. You feel me? Stay in your own lane. Thanks. Absolutely, man. Stay in your own lane, man. That stay in your own episode. lane. This, a, this episode might be called Stay in Your Own Lane, man. Stay because in your lane. It's, when you jump out that lane, man, and I try to tell my son this all the time, like, do you, you. You are you, right? Somebody asked my son one time, man, oh, what part of Oakland are you from? And he was second guessing, like, trying to figure out what hood he from. I'm like, nigga, you from Oakland. Yeah, he's you from gotta, Oakland. You, you don't got to, you from Oakland. Everybody know who you are from Oakland. You don't yeah. got to feel no, you ain't. I failed you if you start telling them you from the Doves. Man, facts. So fucking facts. Oakland. You are cool, Prince from Oakland. Everybody, man. Go they say, they say, nigga. Look, they say the streets ain't for everybody. That's why they made the sidewalks, bro. For real, man. for real. That's just how it's supposed to be. Man. It is going to be in the streets. Man, I'm in let the them, house. Let <laughs> them niggas stay. On, let them niggas stay in the streets, and you stay on the sidewalk where it's man. safe at. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Man. And most things act like it's, it's it's a bad thing to be on the sidewalk, niggas. I, I'm I'm loving it on the sidewalk. You hear me? Loving it over here, you feel me? So that was my thing with my brother Ed, though, right? Because Ed had my son questioning himself one time. We talked about he was joking, but Ed was, like, running a drill at practice, and he had some gloves, and he like, hey, I'm going to get these gloves to one of y'all kids. And they like, okay, cool. Let me Who, who you giving them to? Let me get those. Let me get those. Ed said, hey, what school you go to? What school you go to? Oh, man, y'all all private schools, man. Here, let me get them to him. <laughs> and my son get in the car after practice, like, hey, dad, something wrong with the school I go to? I'm like, what you mean? Coach Ed hey. said, it was a, I, can, I shouldn't be at a private school. Nigga, what? Uh, hey, Ed, don't talk on that bullshit. Hey, but on some real shit, I, when I was talking about how uh, Coach Dean came and found us, like at the, you know, just fucking around the Elmer's, fucking around playing tackle, I, I take, I'm not going to say, uh, like your kid is well off, my kid is well off, right? So, but it's still kids out here Absolutely. that 
you know, that are, you know, I'm talking about that are in those situations, bro, where, Absolutely. you know, yeah, yeah, so I do pay more attention to kids like that, low, like, you know, and not even on no, on no funny shit, but I do pay more attention to kids like that. Because, you know, I coach, you coach. So my thing is, um, I had kids that be like, oh, I ain't got no ride from, from practice. And I, uh, I see so much of myself in that type of shit where I'm like, oh, man, well, oh, is your mama coming? Is your daddy coming? Nah, how you getting there? I, I just be walking. Now nah, I'm going to take you home. Okay. And for the kids who, who mama there or there, I'm going to ask them, y'all good? You good? I know your mama here. You can take you home. I do pay more attention, but don't take it. It shouldn't have been like took in that way because I feel like I'm the same way, bro. Like, you feel me? No, I, no. I, Go ahead. No, I, believe, I understand Lolo's point, though. I understand. Don't, I understand, don't I understand demonize too. my kid because he's well, he, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying demonize. Just what give I'm saying the is gloves like, to who you feel in his own evil. weird way. What he's saying is, you probably got it already. Y'all need these gloves. Your daddy can get them. That's in his own weird way of saying so, it. You know? So when we when we talk, it was an understanding. I got what he was saying, right? So he had to understand. I said what you did was you made my son feel on some. Um, and remember when Eminem was doing something wrong on, on eight mile, right? He like you both. You got both parents. Like think I should be? Should I feel bad for having right. both? Parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, should I feel right, bad right. for this? And I'm like, hey, don't do that, right? Yeah, you yeah. Don't talk RC, you don't do that because he might feel like one day I gotta prove myself to somebody because I went to this school and they went to that school, right? Now you just you just said a mouthful, cause because we got kids that deal with that every day, love. Do y'all ain't that fucked up? So they gotta prove to her somebody because they don't got this or don't got that. Not right. and, and nobody had to say nothing to them for that to happen. That's the epiphany right there. But like right. you think about that, it, it, the psyche is crazy, right? You don't want nobody. I wouldn't want nobody to do my son like that either. But at the same time, though, you got to think about it. How how we got a lot of kids out here that are feeling like that. You know what I'm talking about? And we that, gotta, that, that, that's only, part of my I, story. Like if we ever, if I ever, yeah. How we gonna? Hey, hey, can we gotta have when a I went, when I went from Hillary to Oakland High, I dealt with that a lot. Yeah. I, Man, yeah, you had something, and somebody you felt like, man, yeah, I, I had both I, my parents. I had both exactly. my parents. My no, dad was to, active. I went to Hair Royce, nigga. Like, I didn't just go to. I didn't come from St. Leo's. I came from Hair Royce. Yeah, yeah, but if you know the story, my mom was working there, and somebody was paying my tuition. Like, absolutely, I'm right? just so like y'all. But the same, but like, like these say to another kid, another right. kid, you're not like us. You're not, yeah, you're and not that's like crazy. Us. They face those challenges every day, bro. And that's that's that, it's sad, but it's like we it, something got to be done about that because it goes back to like the uh, the the social media thing and the glitz and the glam, you know what I mean? And I I hate to say it, like like a lot of people they see stuff online and they be like, okay, well this is how shit should be. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, bro, that's this that's why I said what I said. Stay in your lane, be yourself. Everybody else taken because you know what they do is not the same as what you should. Everybody packing life is gonna be different. Nobody's gonna have the same path, and 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 self accountability is a motherfucker because don't nobody owe you. You ain't guaranteed no bitches, no money, no car, no house, nothing. The only thing you guaranteed in life is you gonna die. That's the only guarantee you got. You know what I'm saying? So people be some some people be like they feel like they are entitled to something, and you're not really entitled to anything in this world. You know what I mean? But Absolutely. you know that's another that's another that's a whole another segment. I'm so serious. That shit crazy. Absolutely, man. Thank Thanks. you for stopping by the Rex interview, man. Like man, it's, said, it's all love, man. To learn these stories, man. Uh, Off top. Man. Good luck on your son and the rest of their season. Um, another state championship for them. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, up, they might got thrown. They might get thrown to the wolves this season, though. Man. They, 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 I, we want them to do that. We want them to do that. Yeah, they might. We got some fun. <laughs> it might, might be a rematch against San Ramon in D two, man. You never know. Now, I, I would want them to play on Cerrito, but I, you know, oh, I you want D three. You want that yeah, Cerrito? No, I just want Cerrito because it's a little, you know, a little history there. You know, what I'm saying, look, it, 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 hey, But hey, before we get off this subject, I let you go. That'd be a hell of a game. Mac offense against El Cerrito defense. El Cerrito surviving by that defense. Mac got speed across the board. Hey, I'm Mac. I want D. Mac need D three. I need to see that game as a fan. As a fan. So here's the thing, though. I think that game should have been in place during the season over Deanza. Me too. Me too. That Me too. Settles all that, right? But, but at the same time, though. Both coaches understood what it meant. You lose, you go down. <laughs> hey, man. so you know, you know what that is, man. You know, politics, man. Politics, man. Politics as usual, man. Let me let Fee get out of here, man. We appreciate you, bro. Oh, I appreciate y'all. So, All right, okay, Kenilo. Right, yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Hey, see, again, I'm telling you, man, these last ones been blowing me away, man. Like, Hub story, you didn't know none of that about Hub. You knew yeah. a little bit more about Hub than me because you, you played with him and managed him a little bit. But, uh, excuse me, Hub, Keith, now Ferrari, and then the next two guests that have gone on, right? The next two guests is like, I might not even have questions <laughs> to ask. Y'all just talk. Right. I, need, I need to know, right? Just talk, right? So just having them to come on, man. Um, the next two, I'm, I'm definitely like, definitely, I man. can't wait. And and the next one, I just know from his security guards in the schools, yeah. all of that stuff. So get to hear say. this story. All we can say. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to ru ruin it for our guests by saying too much, man. But I'd be a three hour special. Man. I'm excited for all of these guests that come on. I'm excited for our uh, viewers, man, that be tapping in and staying focused, waiting for the episodes to drop, man, because. It makes us want to tell everybody's story, man. We wish we could tell everybody's story. If we could tell everybody's story, man, it would be great. You know what I'm saying? Um, we talked about a few things we might want to do. We might even want to go live one time and let people come on this talk. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And we ain't got so we could have direct interaction at that time with some of them. Might not be a traditional episode, but something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah um, we'll put it together. Live viewers where we have the viewers ask the question as it's going on. They type the question in the chat that they can address, right? Because we might miss some questions that they might know or might want to address. So that might be an idea we can Might do. be dope as shit, actually. We can already do that once a what once once a month type episode. We going live with this person, and I don't know. I ain't never went live before ever, so I don't know if you I don't do even it. know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I know when you go live, you can invite somebody on, but I don't know if you can invite three people on. I don't know, right? Might got to look into well, it. Prince, I'm sure Prince know. Prince never. He don't go live and invite guests though. On probably uh -huh. on Instagram, but it had to be on. Your yeah, daughter, one of them young, one of them youngins. Yeah, they, they it might be a thing where we got to be together and invite someone on. <laughs> so then we it makes it right there, right? But hey, man, whenever to, you in Vegas, shout out to Fee for being in the episode. Shout out to Fee, man, for being on the episode telling this story, man. Absolutely. Fee, gotta, good thing we ain't got all our sponsorships, Fee, because we'd be canceled right now with all the N word you, <laughs> you just dropped today. Uh, we just got to get N word type sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> man. Do, a, do a yay and just use our own shit. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Forgot to mention it at the beginning of the show, but right now, go ahead and just subscribe. Press that subscribe link or button and also like this episode so we can uh, make it easier to get the content out to you. But again, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you to Ferrari Miller. Damn, I learned a lot. And that was amazing. So I'm Kenny Edwards for Lorenzo Parham. We out. Thank you for watching this clip. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all notifications. Get more content like this at the Rec Center Podcast.